Hi, welcome to the podcast, everybody. I'm with Cam. We're going to talk about Twilight. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Get excited. Woo-hoo! This is going to be a long one. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of movies. There's five films. And, the, and it's a saga, all man. bad. Yeah, the Twilight <laughs> Saga. It, it, when you think about it, like d- duration wise, it's longer than the Godfather trilogy. Like if you, add, I think if you add them up, well, yeah, of course, it's, it's five it's, movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, those are those are long. Like individually, they're longer movies, but like, yeah, cumulatively, like, the yeah, Twilight there's more story are, in those yeah. two movies for sure than there yeah, is well, in this three. entire yeah, fucking yeah. Uh, <laughs> franchise or whatever, or saga, whatever you want to call it. It's like a. It's written by Stephanie Meyer. Who's a Mormon lady, like a Mormon? <laughs> it's like if a Karen wrote a book series. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she's like, it's, yeah, it. yeah, maybe, uh, yeah. And I want to before we keep. Uh, I want to preface this was a, a request. My my coworker friend Bridget. She asked so we we cover these. Yeah. Uh, she and our other friend Vaughn. We like to discuss different movies at work. And yeah, now we're, <laughs> we're, yeah. we're covering the saga. Hi, hi Bridget. Hi Vaughn. <laughs> yeah. But it's a Are good sh- recommendation because I wanted to talk about these too. I've yeah, always I, wanted. I saw these when they came out, and I know I mm-hmm. fucking hated them. <laughs> so it was a good chance to revisit them. And, you um, know, and, uh, this is all. In, obviously, there are a lot of fans. This, this is all in good fun. You know, it's just like there's a lot to talk yeah. about with these. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the whole fandom is like teenage girls, and they've all grown up at this point. They know this is shit. I mean, is anyone gonna <laughs> argue with me that this is shit? I mean, I wonder how much, like, you know, teenagers now get it. I mean, because they, you know, whatever, weren't, might not even have even been born yet when the movie started. I, yeah, I wonder how much, like, it has a legacy with, like, young, you know, the, maybe, you know, because definitely Harry Potter still has an afterlife. Oh, yeah, but Harry Potter is actually good, <laughs> is the thing. Uh, I don't I don't think these movies will have much of a shelf life. I think future generations will laugh at them. And wonder why, <laughs> why girls ever like these to begin with. It was a cultural phenomenon. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It, like the last one made like eight hundred million dollars. Like, did huge... it make that much? Yeah. Because I think I think I know Hunger Games. Like the first Hunger Games movie came out that year. I think that made more than the last Twilight did. Yeah, um, but Twilight. I mean, I mean, considering how bad they were, it's shocking it, the money. That they oh made. yeah, it definitely was a phenomenon. And obviously, we're not, you know, we weren't girl, you know, teenage girl, but we were in that like age bracket, like you know, like the target audience yeah. at the time. Breaking Dawn Part Two worldwide gross eight hundred thirty million. I oh, really wow. I didn't. I didn't even know. I didn't realize it made. I, I knew. I knew they made money. Yeah. I didn't know it made that much. Um, and uh, what one funny thing before like the movies really got going. I know I've told you this before, but um, I remember like in two thousand eight, right? Like I, I was at this uh, computer camp with the and I think the Dark Knight was still out. It might have come out like the month before, and on the wall I saw a poster for Twilight. It's it's the famous one, like Edward's leaning over Bella, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't really know what I was looking at because you know, like it doesn't just scream like, oh, it's a vampire yeah. movie, and um. I, you know, I, I knew Rob Pattinson from Harry Potter, but I, I didn't recognize him there because he looked so different. He was all pale. <laughs> yeah, so this was, is his breakout role, Robbie. Yeah, and um, yeah, right. And uh, he is Christian... fucking bad, and he's <laughs> <laughs> he is yeah. so bad, especially in the later ones. <laughs> yeah, but Rob Pattinson, obviously, we've seen what a strong actor he's become, like in the years since, like you know, with Lost City of Z, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, Good time lighthouse but yeah he's he's good um yeah um so then well twilight yeah f- what's twilight what's the first one about uh bella played by Kristen stewart and um it, she was she wasn't a total unknown when the like the movie st- i knew her from like zathura she had done a few things like, yeah she, she was in Panic zathura Room. yeah mm-hmm. yeah and, Panic uh, Room. So uh, Bella, she's just like I think she's seven, whatever, sixteen or seventeen in the first. Uh, so like she's moving to Forks, Washington yeah. State. Is that I a real town? I, th- I yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, she moved. I guess like Forks. her mother got remarried. Like uh, they don't. I don't know. They don't, <laughs> And then she goes to live. With her, <laughs> it doesn't uh, really make sense. No. <laughs> not really. And she goes to live with her father, uh, Charlie, played by Billy Burke, who's probably my favorite character in the whole franchise. He's the only character that acts like a real person, like right. most of the time. <laughs> yeah, his character is a break from the fucking monotonous love triangle and all this bullshit yeah. going on. 
He's like the right. only one who, yeah, he acts like a human being, basically. I think everyone unanimously unanimously agrees this is like the best part of these movies. Yeah, he's kind of like the the Obi Wan and the prequels, it's like civil. Yeah, like he, he like he just acts like a regular. Person. Although he's supposed to be a cop or a sheriff, you never really see him do anything cop or sheriff related in the entire franchise. <laughs> you know, not, not much. I mean, he <laughs> no, kind of drives just, around. You start to wonder if he's just dresses like that, like he's a nut, like fucking everyone else is. Um, <laughs> he's he's a, he, what's that? it's like you know stolen valor kind of yeah like, he's like a schizophrenic cop. cop or, I don't know. He used yeah. to be a cop. But, uh, but yeah, that's it, yeah, funny. It, it's it's just weird. So she moves to this town and and yeah. then yeah she and then you know, yeah she, we know, so she you know. Right, it's it's the middle of the, the, the semester, and then yeah, she meets uh, yeah. Anna Kendrick is one of her classmates. That was one of her like first roles of note. Susie Crabgrass from uh, Ned's yeah, the from Ned's the Classified. She's one of the other friends. Yeah. Um, my brother pointed out one of the werewolves uh, is is a dude. He's an X Men. Like the it's like the youngest movie? werewolf. I know it's oh, a later he? movie, but oh, what, what, and the New Mutants is that what you're talking about, or is that a different? Um, guy? no, no. I think it's Days of Future Pats. I know uh, one of the vampires in the first one. Uh, he's also in First X Men First Class. I, um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so like, yeah, Bella is you know at the new high school. It's like very overcast and um, and mm-hmm. so she, then she meets Edward. Uh, so like basically, you know, when she's sitting with Anna Kendrick, whatever, like the other, her, like you know, she makes a couple friends, and they're like, "Here come the Cullens." It's like they're all pale. They got their eyes look weird, and yeah. Then she spots Edward. So she spots Edward first in the cafeteria, and then later on in the de- whatever she has, I don't know, is a chemistry. And then, so when she when he, when she enters the classroom, Edward he looks at he stares at her, and he goes like this, like. Bleh. Like 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 yeah. he's he's like gagging almost. He covers his <laughs> his mouth. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> I guess because he's overwhelmed by like his lust for her. Like he's like yeah. He's it's not her. like he's yeah. It's like literally like her scent is driving yeah. him fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Is it's not just like oh I like her like I have a crush on her. It's yeah yeah. She's like well he has a line that's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's probably from the book. It's the line where he says, "You're like my own personal brand of heroin." You're like my own personal brand of heroin. That was a, definitely a line that stuck out of me when I saw it the first time. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, if <laughs> like, that isn't what? a red flag, like there are red flags all over the fucking place. Yeah. He's, you know, he's staring at her. He, he, you know, and, uh, you know, when they meet the first, you know, like, Bella makes note of, like, what, what's with this guy? Like, why is he staring at him? And <laughs> I then, think like, that's, yeah. That's one of the he, biggest he, problems of, like, this whole franchise to me is that Bella and Edward are bad characters. <laughs> and they don't yeah. have any chemistry with each other. Bella is boring. She has she is nothing kind of to her yeah. life. Nothing going on with her life nothing she's very ordinary i mean she's yeah. cute but yeah they act like oh my god she's so, cute she's but so her amazing. whole life is this love triangle and she has nothing else going on with her life and it, not, it's not like really it's, no no <laughs> like it's like what are her interests what does she want to do when she like, gets so, nothing it's just this love triangle bullshit is her whole life and you know if i were her dad i would tell her to fucking you know i would move away or some shit i would get he, her away he, from yeah. these two guys yeah he's very patient. edward is Yo. a fucking manipulator yeah, he's he, yeah, he's kind of, he's very odd. Just like the his attitude towards he's you know, scary. Yeah, he's, you know the, all this shit he does that girls when they were twelve year olds found charming the, the <laughs> staring or whatever. It's all creepy. It, it's all weird. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, and she's just like boring. And it's like why are these people like they're they're causing all of this drama? Like right. people, you know, uh, tribes fighting with each other. People die, and it's all over like this love story that you don't really care about ultimately. Um, yeah, like the story kind of like sorry, like the movies kind of insist that it's really important, but like you know, it, it's nice that they want to help Bella, but you know, it's it's yeah. it's never really earned why like <laughs> it's the, nice that like, they're putting it. The, you know, it's it's I guess there's like, no depth solic- to it. Yeah, into it, their the, the, love, n- or, not particularly. Yeah. I guess it, you know, uh, Edward is you know so entranced by Bella because I guess his thing is he can read minds. But he can't read hers. I, so I don't know how that could prove that you read minds. <laughs> and yeah. that, it's possible she's just not thinking of much to begin with. Maybe that's why she can't read. That's possible. It definitely <laughs> seems that way. Like, just from her personality. She always has her mouth open. 
This is, it's probably <laughs> yeah. even open here. It looks like she's like talking into the mic, but yeah, her yeah. mouth's even open in the fucking picture. Like she's. It, yeah. I imagine like a fly like zzz, going in her mouth <laughs> like during these scenes because she's just sta- it's a lot of staring. staring and it gets worse um, as this goes along. <laughs> these, these movies. Um, I will say this one at least looked like a movie. It does, yeah. Um, <laughs> the director, um, Catherine Hardwick, she also did uh, Lords of Dogtown, which is a good movie. Uh, yeah, Heath Ledger was in that. It's, it's, it's. I liked it. Um, yeah, it, you, you could kind of tell because, like, aesthetic. I mean, obviously, it's not a that one's not like about vampires, but like, kind of like aesthetically, they're kind of like similarities, like with the camera work. Um, yeah, that, that kind of like goes a away in the second one. Color palette. And, yeah, yeah, like those kinds of. There's, there's definitely some stylistic Sh- sure. stuff. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really work, but it's. It, I I just mean it's more in comparison to the others. Yeah, um, there is some style to it. You're right. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't. It's feel funny. Like totally... No real. The directors. There's a lot of different directors attached to these movies. None of them really bring much to it stylistically. There's not much you can really do with the material, I guess. But they all just kind of look the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? uh... Um, I guess you know the the first one does look a little bit better. It just had like a color grade to it that felt like it had it was like stylistic. It's very washed. It's almost like Saving yeah, it's Private washed Ryan. out, but it's at least like it looks gray. like intentional. <laughs> where like the yeah yeah, part, I I especially like part one. Breaking Dawn part one looks like a like a like a you know commercial or something. <laughs> yeah, it, um, you know, it, like like the, these directors, um, they they've also like done other things. Like I said, with Catherine Hardwick and you know. Um, David uh, David Slade had directed Eclipse. Like he's done other movies. He directed uh, an episode of Breaking Bad. You know, yeah, like, they, like they have Slade, other, yeah. they have other like big credits. It's not like they're you know <laughs> that, yeah, like they've never yeah. made anything good. But, David but, yeah. Slade did Thirty Days of Night. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. never seen that. Yeah, which you know it's an action movie. So there's some action mm-hmm. in Eclipse that was we're we're kind of going all over the place, which is fine. Yeah. But, um, um, let's try to let's get back on topic to uh, all right so um, um bella meets edward one. and and she's kind of like almost yeah like intrigued i guess because he's like being so weird and then like he kind of edward stops going to school for like a couple days and they play this like really whiny song like ha ha <laughs> like the soundtrack yeah. to these movies is pretty funny and then eventually yeah, they, they were, it's like a very 2000 soundtrack they use it is there was i was going to mention the baseball scene they use the muse uh yeah which i, I like muse they're a good band but it's a good song it was also yeah, in they Sopranos. mentioned they started having a lot of teenage girls come to their concerts after oh, like sure. their music started to appear in twilight yeah because it, it's a few times they use muse songs i remember eclipse had one and this is like yeah it's, i think it's a couple times they use muse but it's just yeah funny. yeah and and yeah. also, um, I think I don't know if New Moon and Eclipse they might have had a different composer, but like for uh, most of the movies, uh, Kata Burwell's a composer. He done he's done most of the Coen Brothers movies because the score it kind of sounds like Fago, like one of those. Like <laughs> you know, it's not like you can tell it's the same composer, which is kind of yeah. funny. Obviously, like tonally very different. Yeah. Um, but it, like with the first one, yeah. So Bella, like, and then Edward shows up again at school, and like he, he kind of breaks the ice a little bit. He's like, "Sorry, I was like, you know, staring at you." So like they do talk a little bit, but it's like so Eventually. like, yeah, it's kind of strange. They're looking at the like the microscope in the in the class, and then like it's like yeah, blah blah, blah you know. You know <laughs> I don't even yeah, remember they, exactly. They don't really have say. anything to talk about because neither of Not them are really. interesting. <laughs> neither of them have like a life like outside of. Well, Edward's a hundred something years old, so he has more of an excuse to be interesting. Yeah, that's quite an age gap. It's like what's it like pl- double your age minus seven or whatever? You know, like that one yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he and, looks eighteen, so it's fine. I guess. Yeah, yeah, right. But yeah, it's like it, none of this makes any fucking sense. Like, so there's these vampires hanging out in school. Do they have to like? Do the teachers not notice like that they look the right. same every year? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like this whole world that they've built up doesn't work, and and it only gets worse. Um, the more. And they, you know, they look like vampires. Like they look fucking yeah. sickly and whatever. Like no one would notice. The demon, <laughs> and, and, and they too... don't eat. They're vegetarians. By well, vampire, they don't. They don't which eat means people. They're not actually vegetarians. They no. Eat, yeah, of course they, they eat, eat like, animals. You know, burgers and shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's a very loose definition. It's like yeah. Uh, it's like don't call yourself vegetarians because that's not what a vegetarian means. No, it's like what, what's a, you know like you say you're California sober. It's kind of like that. Like. 
Yeah. You, you, like you, you're, it's, it means no. like you only like drink and smoke weed, but obviously you're still like taking substance. It's kind of like yeah. that. Um, yeah. And, uh, and also too, like you mentioned about like they're staying in high school. Like, why would you want to stay in high school? I, I could see wanting to stay in college because you can like party. It's just like, what's so exciting? But like, <laughs> yeah, fucking, f- f- you know, whatever, uh, semi, you know, uh, history every year. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. It's not, it's not very. No, it's a little monotonous. So anyway, yeah. So Bella and Edward, they start chatting a little more and then. Uh, I think that day Bella's like just chilling in the, the, the parking lot and some guy comes fucking barreling in. Oh yeah. The, like, the oh. Asian guy. No, the other oh, guy. Oh no, it's the black guy. It, yeah. Cause it's funny. Cause he never pops up in the, he's, he's only in this one. Like, I don't know if he got expelled yeah, yeah. or something. He's just <laughs> like, I, br- I bring up cause he just treats Bella like shit the entire movie. He that does, guy? yeah. Yeah. He's, a he's just like constantly bullying her. <laughs> and then he almost hits her <laughs> with his car. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, he's like, and later they're through. still friends. Like, still, like, I, I hey. would be like, get the fuck away from me, you crazy bastard! You almost killed me. Yeah, and Edward saves her. He fucking bolts over there, like you know, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, uh, pushes the cut the truck away or whatever the van and the Bella's like, and Bella's Whoa. like, oh my god, how'd you do that? <laughs> She's got and, her and music, he, and he's like, <laughs> I'm a vampire. No, that's that's not what he says. He said <laughs> like, well, he's like, <laughs> you, like you stopped the cut. <laughs> oh sparkle. yeah, he's like. Well, like, she's like, how old yeah. are you? He's, I'm, I'm 17. How long have you been 17? 100 whatever years. But yeah, so, uh, you know, Bella's like, you stopped the tr- uh, the van from hitting me or whatever. Like, Edward's like, nobody's going to believe it. It's funny. It's like an attitude about it. It doesn't seem yeah. like very heroic. But then they like, they keep talking, blah, blah, blah. And then like, yeah, like you said, it gets to the pile. Like Bella's like, you don't, you know, blank or whatever. Like, say it. Out, uh, sorry, ever go say it out loud like vampire, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, like vampire. cool. And, and then, then like, they go you, running in the forest, yeah. and it's like the corniest fucking effect. It looks like they're floating on like they're like on a wire. The effects are pretty <laughs> corny in all of these, <laughs> especially when they like <laughs> they died across the room. Yeah, or, the effects you know. never get better throughout all of them. Like the no. werewolves look like shit through all of them, and it, you know, considering how much money these movies made. Mm-hmm. How much of a phenomenon they were. They could have given back a little bit to the fans, right? And and made like at least the CGI yeah. decent, but they didn't even give a shit. They're just like whatever. These teenage girls, they don't care about like up what the, the end. Yeah, especially like, like you know like Spider Man Two. Like how much better like the effects looked like compared to like the first one even. But yeah, oh, yeah. like you said, like anything at the time. Like these effects <laughs> for the time are not good. Even for the time, yeah. and the first one I can excuse a little bit because it's a low, lower budgeted thing. Yeah, so, yeah. But as they go along, it, it gets less and less excusable. Yeah, and then so whatever, like they're the, yeah, like you said, uh, they run into the forest, like you know, that's where the lines like you better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> you better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, and, what, and one then, big like what happens? You know, like There's, I get yeah. what you're saying to me. <laughs> like they, you know, they're falling in love, but like, what actually happens in the movie? Not much. Like, what's the conflict? <laughs> I mean, like, you do occasionally like cut to, like d- during the first half, there are scenes of like the other like other vampires like killing random civilians in the town. But you, yeah, again, it's it's not enough. You need more. Yeah, like there's, conflict. There's Obviously, no conflict. I, I I understand that like you know the the audience like the target uh, isn't like the target audience isn't really watching these movies for the plot. They like to see Bell and Edward, but you know, but you you do you need some kind of story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because then it, it just gets really monotonous. It's it's very thin. Yeah, he's like, like from that point on, I, I don't even. I remember the baseball thing, and then the the bad guys come. There is right a, there's a black <laughs> vampire which Stephanie yeah. Meyer was against. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, he, heard, he doesn't show up in the rest of them, but he's like in the first two. I think. no, no, he's in. The, I think he's in the second one. Yeah, he's in so, the first yeah. two. Yeah, and then he doesn't show up after that. Um, right. But yeah, it's like, like that doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, there could like, there could be black vampires. I think. Yeah, I think that's I fine. See, I don't see why not. Well, because yeah. yeah, it's like like whatever. vampires can bite. African Americans can't they like it doesn't I, like why not? I don't know if like she felt like watch it. I don't know. Yeah, it's, like it's, like, it's like a whole I think can of worms. We were talking about it. You said like he, she thinks like it turns you white when you become completely a vampire, pale. Which that that I would guess. not work in a movie if they. I, I no, guess maybe no. they could put like 
make a, I don't know. It's it's all they, they didn't made have the up budget anyway. to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They didn't they barely had the budget to, you know, tell tell a a, a coherent story story. You know. Oh, we we should <laughs> we can also mention the uh bless you. Uh you know, the Spacklin Edward shows, you know, once he reveals he's a vampire, like he stands and they're in the forest and he stands and he takes his shirt off and stands in the sunshine like this is yeah. what a killer looks like, fella. You know, <laughs> yeah. Sparkly. It's, it's like, yeah, it sparkles. <laughs> Well, the, so like at at the very end, there's there is kind of conflict after, but you know it's, it's kind of yeah. late in the game. Like yeah, it so takes they, too long. They play baseball. They play you know there's the muse song, and, yeah. Uh, you know it's overcast, so that's why they want to like. I mean, it's like overcast the whole fucking movie anyway. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so like the, these other vampires show up and they got I don't know they're just like they're they're more malevolent than the Cullens. Like they they like to eat people and then like they have some like standoff and then. Um, I think what is Bella? Is she bleeding or something? Like she, uh, they could, or, or maybe she. They that one of them smell. They could tell Bella's human because she's just hanging with the you know, the yeah. v- vampires. And like you got a human with you. Let's fuck her up. Let's yeah, like, yeah. eat her. Uh, she so, starts causing conflict. And yeah, Robert Pattinson's like, I'm so sorry. We gotta protect you. I'm so it's sorry, from Bella. James or whatever. So then, yeah. Um, Bella gets lured to a dance studio where she used to go as a kid because she thinks her mom's there. I guess because they just have like it's like a recording of her voice. So like, oh my god, they've kidnapped oh. her. Why did why does he she just call her mom and see if like just to double check? <laughs> she's very gullible. And then so um, she's not very the, bright. No, she's not. And so the one of the vamp evil vampires like tries to transform her and she, she, so he does bite her and then um like the the cullen show up and they kill i think it was it alice like the ashley green she like snaps his neck it's pretty violent and then these they movies burn are pretty violent yeah they are yeah more than you'd probably expect and then like yeah so considering the demographic yeah bella's all four. fucked up yeah, right, for yeah. kids. I get, there's not yeah. much They're, blood, they're for, like, yeah. yeah, 12-year-old girls, and, yeah, there's, like, decapitations in the last one. A bunch, yeah. <laughs> Quite a, the, the most decapitations I think I've ever seen in a PG-13 yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll get to that. Some of you might already be familiar with uh, riff tracks, but, like, you know, in case you're not, like, the, you know, the, these guys, they do, like, you know, funny commentaries oh, yeah, on movies. Oh, yeah, of course, riff tracks. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I know you know, but like, yeah, just in case some people aren't yeah, familiar. Yeah, people know but, uh, riff tracks. Yeah, but the, yeah, if, if you haven't seen them, they're very funny for, especially for the Twilight movies. You can look. These them movies up. are made to be like ridiculed like that. Yeah, yeah, so. and so anyway, yeah. So the first one it ends, you know, Bella's all fucked. You know, she's like convulsing, and like Edward, he saves her. He's like, he's tempted to like keep like drinking her blood, but like you're know, like take it easy, and then okay, so they go to the then they ends that they go to the prom. And then Bella's like, yeah, they're whatever. They're having a nice time. And Bella's like, you got to make me a vampire, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's only the end of the first movie. But yeah, she's already ready. He's like, yeah, we, we'll wait for that. And then um, you can see one of the other vampire, like the, the woman, evil woman vampire. She's watching from like a window. It ends like an episode of Lost. Like somebody, you know, somebody's like Well, watching. the movie has the weirdest <laughs> transition to credits fucking ever, where she's watching from the window, and then it turns, she turns, yeah. and then it, yeah. it fades to like black and white, and then the credits come. I'm like, oh, well, I yeah, guess the as the movie, the movie just kind of ends. Yeah, it just kind of stops. <laughs> it's like, all right, it's over, fucking get out. <laughs> it, it almost feels more like a pilot of a TV show. This in terms of like story, you know, cause it's not, you know, there's not really enough story for like a two hour movie. Yeah. It could have been like a CW mini series, this whole thing. Well, I think I'm, what, I'm, I wonder if like that vampire, I don't know if that was that on the CW. I'm not even sure. Like that vampire diaries. I think that premiered around the same. I think it that might was have been, CW. Yeah. It, it might've been inspired by the, you know, success of twilight. I would, Probably. I would. Yeah. yeah gir- girls love that stuff. Yeah. I mean, because obviously there were plenty of vampire movies before, like, you know, really good ones, too, like Near Dark and, you know, um, Interview with yeah. the Vampire. But, yeah, th- th- these movies are very matter-of-fact about the, you know, movie uh, vampires just being around. Other ones, it's like, you know, we got to destroy them. You know, they're vill- you know, Dracula, you know, he's a, he's a bad dude. Yeah, but, yeah. Dr- yeah, vampires are portrayed as monsters, usually. Yeah. They're fucking scary, and in this movie, they're they're really not even vampires. I mean, when you, I guess they kind of. Are. There's a there's another really good movie. I think they it's don't kind of really hard to find. drink blood at all because they they're vegetarians or whatever the fuck 
they said so they don't drink they don't kill people they don't like they have like special abilities they're basically just like superheroes you know they like they, yeah. they're very agile they can run fast and they're strong and that's it like all the cool yeah. stuff that comes with like being a vampire like um is not really part of like they can't even turn it up a bat <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> they can Robert sparkle Pence though and- they can sparkle Batman. and run comically in the forest where it looks like a wire. They're attached to a wire. I don't know, dude. Yeah. The, uh, this this movie's at a point in the series where they're they're still like taking themselves seriously a bit. Yeah. So there is there is funny stuff, but overall I found it kind of boring and dull. And I I don't yeah. really like the first one. It's probably a better made movie than the later ones. Uh, but the later them, ones yeah. have some funnier stuff, I think. Yeah, there is some funny stuff. But yeah, like you said, yeah, they don't do much with the concept. Yeah, I was going to say, there's this other really good movie the, uh, called The Addiction, where like the woman becomes a, a vampire. It's 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 it's, it's kind of like, almost like a, being like a heroin addict, which is like, a, you know, like an intriguing take on it. But yeah, this is like, yeah, this kind of hang out. And, you know, these guys, they don't even sleep in coffins. The color, They don't sleep at all. Must get no, fucking, they don't sleep at all. Yeah, that's good. Must get boring. Like, what do you do? Like, how do you yeah. fill up the time? Like, they must really Sticks take advantage about Bella of Bella all day. I guess. Yeah, they yeah. they take advantage of the twenty four hour uh, McDonald's nearby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm hungry. Like, well, it's four a.m. Where, you know, where are we gonna go? <laughs> I'm just picturing all of them going to the drive through. Like, oh, these Before fucking them. guys again. Because one of them, the the Bella's dad, not Bella, um, Edward's dad in the movie. I don't know if it, that's not actually his dad, right? It's I, like I his, don't think so. He's no, kind of like it's the like his dad leader because yeah. he's supposed to be in high school. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. a fucking weird looking. Dude. Kyle, he kind of looks like Fred and Scooby Doo. Like he'd have, yeah. you know, like the the neck, you know, with the the, the blonde hair. Yeah, yeah, and like uh, Jasper. So, I, yeah, Jasper is fucking weird. He it's, just it's, stares it's, at everybody like. Yeah, he's there's odd. less of that in like the later movies, but yeah, like the first two particularly, he's like, like, yeah, he, he, he's a fucking stupid character. He's also in the, you know, it's a what's it, um, Jackson Rath, but he's also in the Last Airbender movie, another fucking gem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Sokka. And um, Kellen Lutz, of course. Who's yeah, the, the, the Hercules movie. That's like Legend one of the of worst Hercules. movies I've ever seen. I never, I never, I, I tried when um, Lone Survivor <laughs> came out. I wasn't seventeen yet, so I tried buying tickets to the Hercules one to get him. But yeah. yeah, I got kicked out. But yeah, you that said movie that was looks bad. Like it cost six dollars to make that Hercules movie. That's a Rennie Harlan. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. That's a the, funny one. I would, I would honestly cover that one with you because it's so fucking yeah. bad. Yeah, we could cover it. And, uh, that was like yeah. a January, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Fuck you, it's January. Like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck um, you, it's January. Yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 the brother like. characters are annoying. I like the I, I might, I like the, the, the sisters better because they're really hot. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Alice and R- Rosalie? Is that the other one? Yeah, the what are, uh, Nikki yeah, Reed, sure. the, the blonde chick. <laughs> I, th- I think, yeah, like the family's so big, like it's how to like keep track of everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you? What would you rate the the first one? I'm between. Yeah. Uh. I'll probably end up going with the three out of ten on it, or one and a half stars out of five stars. Yeah, that's probably what I. It's not like a half star, you know, because there is no. like funny stuff. But yeah, it is pretty dumb. No, but, but like, but that's that rating is also kind of um a slight against it because it's it's not memorably bad to me like the later ones are. Um, uh, yeah, uh, it, one star is yeah. almost more of a compliment <laughs> because then, then Depends. it's like the room to me, or like yeah. Madam Web, and Madam and Web. the the series does get to that level. Um, but this one's more just kind of like bad, like generically kind of bad. Let's move on to the second one. Yeah, it, it kind of picks up where the first one left off. Bella and Edward are still dating, and they have a birthday party for Bella at the Cullens' house at like the middle of the night. Or I guess it's like evening, and then so like hey, hey, happy birthday! So they they have a gift. I don't know if it's Edward's gift. It's somebody's gift. They hand it to Bella. She cuts her finger on the paper. It must be some serious fucking wrapping paper. Yeah, she's, and then Jasper like tries to. Yeah, <laughs> Jasper tries to fucking attack her. Right, he like leaps across. So Edward. And so and so her. Edward's solution is to what? Push her across the fucking room. Yeah, he couldn't have just like uh, yeah. put her gently to the floor. He's got yeah. a fucking boom, like body bam slam. against the fucking wall. <laughs> probably broke her back.
<laughs> she gets injured in all these movies. <laughs> what do you think about that, it? Thanks for reminding me of that because I forgot about that scene. Why does he have to leave? Edward has to leave. I guess to protect her. It's to protect very, her. And he goes it, it, off to fucking God knows where. For like the whole movie, you don't see him. For, and he's it's absent about, for most of it. Yeah, yeah, it's about like Jacob comes back into it, and Jacob's actually in the first one. He has yeah, a, he's, he's a supporting a character. Um, yeah, he's a supporting yeah. character. You don't see him as a werewolf. He's just like a supporting character, just to establish in, him, yeah. right? Yeah. In this one, they they get rid of his wig, and <laughs> they they show that he's a werewolf eventually. It takes a fucking hour and a half to show that, but they do eventually show that he's a werewolf, and it's about. But this movie is really about like let's put Edward somewhere else, so we can establish this um uh this love triangle this bella and jacob relationship and then we could bring edward back into it um and then we can go like do interesting stuff with that in the future movies that's really what this movie is about yeah set up um, the love triangle it down it, it's yeah. also yeah i get that they're establishing the love triangle it's such a bizarre like left turn you know what i mean because like that was kind of like the draw of the first one. They like girls like seeing Bella and Edwards like romance blossom, you know, however you feel about it. But like in this one, he just fucking takes off like, you know, yeah. 15, 20 minutes in. It's, you know, it, it would have, I think it would have made more sense maybe if he got like kidnapped or something. Like he, like, you know, something he disappears. Something out of his control. Right. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to like, yeah, I, I gotta go. I'm taking off for a while. And yeah, you know, Bella's fucking beside herself, like saw, you know, oh, retching, yeah. fucking she's sobbing fucking in her bed. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, her you know, dad is like, we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to move back with your mom because you like keep having nightmares yeah. in the middle of the night where you're Acting screaming. Like a fucking lunatic, you know, and yeah. there, there's a, a shot, like a sequence where she She's just sitting in her chair, like in her room, and like the oh, yeah. camera revolves around her, and you know, like the season. <laughs> it says like you know October, November, December. Yeah, like we get it. Like she's sitting there. You could have just shown the snowfall. They didn't need to the show idea. the text. Yeah, at all. <laughs> how how they, else they would we have gleaned yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they needed to show you it was November, December, December, January. Well, like, yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. So she's she's a fucking a mess, and then Jacob basically helps her out of her depression funk yeah and and shows her that you know you hey bella you're you're 18 and you have like your whole life ahead of you <laughs> and he's just yeah. like one guy and she's yeah. like oh you're right and she starts to like finally like have a happy life again well uh, sort um, of well she's still kind of i mean she does go out a little bit like you know whatever she hangs out with hannah kendrick again like all right she's like making an effort but then she starts seeing almost like mirages of Edward, visions like, of Edward. Yeah, like which is Edward know. like trying to talk to her. So like, so he leaves, but he wants yeah. her to not like be He's with still anybody else. Blasting yeah. her around, like well, like there's a point, you know, she goes with Anna Kent, wherever they go. Like I don't know if they go to dinner or whatever. She sees like uh, Bella sees these bikers nearby. And then, like, he's like, ooh, like, maybe hang out. And Edward, like, appears. It's almost like um, like on Microsoft Word, like, the little, like, paper clip, like, puffs up. Kind of like that. Like, Edward's like, don't go near them. They're, they're, they're. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, a little, it's like, uh, oh, you know, Obi-Wan, like, the Force, go, kind of like that. But, like, it's even, like, there's even, like, less it's, explanation it's even for stupider. it. Like, it's yeah, it, right. it, it threatens, <laughs> it's, it's trying to keep her out of danger, but inadvertently causes danger dangerous accidents because like there's a scene yeah. she's like riding a motorcycle and she keeps seeing these visions of edward <laughs> popping up in front of her and it's fucking distracting slow and down crashes. like yeah, yeah right like if you want her to not crash maybe like don't get in her fucking face <laughs> yeah that's what i think she just probably should have been with jacob and she might have been fine but well i mean ever I mean, keeps like butting into her life yeah, pretty. I mean, we see obviously we see in, in the you know eclipse that Jacob's no saint either. But yeah, uh, you, you're, you're kind of right. Yeah, Edward's kind of button. You know, he takes off. He wants it both ways. Like he's like takes off, but he's also still kind of like, you know, maintaining yeah. a presence. You know, she, you know, she's obviously upset. You fucking ditched her, and yeah, like you're just like hovering yeah. around and like very manipulative. <laughs> Edward yeah, is. and like uh, the, yeah. the sister Alice like doesn't answer her fucking emails. She's just like, yeah. <laughs> it's it, yeah, yeah, it's very. Cool. I I know she's not you know Bella's no. Yeah, they prize, just like fucking yeah, <laughs> ditch her. Like they just don't talk to her at all. Mm -hmm. Right, and, and then uh, at the end, there's this whole fucking convoluted bullshit where 
she does this ritual with Jacob and and her the werewolf friends of Jacob, where yeah. they they have this ritual where they jump off a cliff. Mm-hmm. It's like some rite of passage or some fucking shit, or they do it for I don't know what I I I, I don't know. But then Alice there, who has the visions, sees Bella jumping off the cliff and thinks Bella killed herself. So Alice tells Edward this. Edward calls Bella's house. Yeah. And Jacob picks up the phone and says, Bella's not here, which makes Edward think that Bella's dead. Well, uh, for no it's, reason. Uh, right. It's, yeah. So, yeah. You're right. So he calls the house. Yeah. She said, Bella's not here. Yeah. Her father's Which makes attend- him go oh, no, no, to no, no, the no. Voltori. Well, hold on. Hold on. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's, another, there's another thing. You met. Yeah. You because know, I asked, you know, Bridget, and she said, you know, because I said, you know, why does he come to that? So, yeah, Jacob answers. She says, Bella's not here. Her father's attending a funeral. For the um the act uh, the character played by Graham Greene, it was a really good character actor. He's not like yeah, it's weird he's in this one, but um, oh okay. And so, so that's like he, like I guess Edward deduces that it was Bella's funeral. But they don't he, say it was Bella's funeral. Of course not. It like <laughs> you know Jacob's tone did not indicate that he was upset no. about Bella being dead or whatever. Yeah, Edward and, hears the word funeral and assumes Bella died. Yeah, and, and he's and like it, Edward's somewhere off in Brazil. Yeah, they show him he's sex like in an apartment. Brazilian chicks randomly. Well, and, and well, so he decides we, we, I'm we gonna. <laughs> That's not sure. But he decides <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Voltori, which are like the vampire, the leaders of the vampire world, or some shit, with his Dakota Fanning and Michael Sheen. And yeah. he says I'm going to do this ritual where they kill me. I like confess to the world that I'm a vampire. I sparkle in the sunlight yeah. in front of a crowd of people <laughs> and then they kill me which i don't know why this is a thing but it's a thing that they do it, it's it's very specific it's like you know uh like suicide by cop like you know he would like you know make it so the volturi would have to kill him and also yeah. like this decision has like no weight to it because one like you said like he, he you know he's like an idiot he doesn't like <laughs> he's, he's connecting dots just based on vague information and two Ed, like edward's been absent for most of the movie so you know we don't really know what he's been yeah, up. all this we, is we, like in the last half hour yeah we've had no idea mind. where he was i mean like he's he, <laughs> pops up as the little like mist tent you know mirages yeah. or whatever like yeah that's all yeah. you see of him we you have no idea know. where he is you don't know he's in brazil to like the very end the last half hour or whatever so yeah he goes to the voltori yeah. bella learns this from does she Alice. learn it from ashley green's character yeah yeah because she shows up like you know bella's what's wrong like out of nowhere like obviously you've been she's been trying to reach you but now you <laughs> like once she fucking jumps off a cliff that's that's when he yeah, because, you know, Bella's been, like, putting herself in danger deliberately just to get Edward's attention, you know, ghost, Ed, whatever, force ghost, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Edward. And, yeah, so then they, they, they fucking hot tail it over to I- Italy, right? Or, or Italy or Brazil? Is it, is it Italy? I, uh, I, I can't, I think I can't it remember. Is. It might it, be it Italy, like yeah. Italy. It looked like Italy. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I guess uh, Alice gets a <laughs> rental car and, like, Bella's, like, step on it. Like, she's already going, like, fucking It's like 85. a rental <laughs> sports car. It's like yeah. a fucking Ferrari or whatever. But, the, yeah, she's, she's like, go, go. And she's going, like, 200 miles an hour. She yeah, almost hits people fast, in the Like, you want her to go. Because, you know, it's like it, those Italian roads are, like, very narrow that people yeah, walk yeah. on. Like, you know, if you go to Rome, you can just, and she's, like, driving on those roads, like, 200 miles an hour. And Bella's like, hurry, yeah. we're going to, Edward's going to kill Step himself. It. Yeah, yeah, no, it's no time to waste. It's the most ridiculous series of events. Yeah. It's, like, so fucking absurd. It's like, what am I watching here? Yeah, like, well, it, it's real? like because you know, I guess it's foreshadowed not very well, but you know, earlier in the movie, Bella and Edward are watching Romeo and Juliet in class. I guess it's meant to be like you know, yeah. Romeo thinks Juliet's dead, or at least like you know, in West Side Story, like the they said whatever Maria's dead. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it wasn't like oh, I just you know assumed that based on this vague yeah. conversation with Jacob. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, but it just yeah. did not work at all. No, it doesn't make um, any sense. No. Yeah, and it, it worked out in the end. Um, they all get together, and uh, uh, Edward and Bella get back together, and they they just kind of just like Jacob, bye. You're not. 
<laughs> well, uh, well, 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 by Jacob. <laughs> well, uh, but, but, <laughs> he's right there. Uh, yeah. before that, yeah, uh, you know, so, uh, Al, you know, they intervene, like Bella protect, you know, like kind of like hugs Edward. So he's not exposing himself. And then they get pulled before the Volturi council. Um, and, and again, like you said, this, yeah, yeah, right. Well, but, but like, like, again, you know, like the out we've been like watching Bella like sulk for like a fucking hour or so, like this all, all like shoehorned into the third act, and yeah. Um, <laughs> so they're like, all right, but like you know, Edward, we'll let you slide, but you know, Bella, you got you got to make Bella a vampire at some point, or like some fucking cockamamie, you know, some excuse. bullshit. Yeah, and then a bunch of humans like they walk by a bunch of regular people walking in about to be murdered, and they they don't do shit. That happens a lot. Yeah. Like the Cullens yeah. is kind of like let people die <laughs> for yeah, no. They're, they're yeah. not very heroic. Like yeah. very self serving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And th- there's an um yeah so yeah D- Jacob's much more prominent in this one, and uh yeah Taylor Lautner's acting isn't great. He's definitely the weakest of the main trio. Yeah, he's fucking terrible. The the werewolf effects are terrible. Um, yeah, Taylor Lautner's the worst actor of the three, easily. Yeah, because like, there's a scene... No question. About half... You know, it's like, you know, when Bella's trying to, you know, loosen up a little bit. One of the other friends is like, you want to go to the movies? And I'm like, she's like, yeah, sure. And then they, they also bring uh, Jake up. And it's some, you know, whatever, violent action movie. And, like, the, the goofy friend, like, you know, starts getting sick and then... You know, out in the lobby, like, you know, this, Jacob, yeah. yeah, Jacob's like, are you feeling sick? How'd you like to end up in the fucking hospital? Like, like what? Like, where what? did this come from? <laughs> I, I guess it's supposed to signify that he's like turning into a vampire. Like he's get, you know, don't, don't make the Hulk angry. But he just, he just kind of seems turning like he's acting. A, oh, turning into a werewolf, you mean? Is it? Yeah. Is that what I said? Werewolf? No, you said vampire. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, well, oh, yeah, it's okay. And, and um. But yeah, it, it it doesn't come across that way in his performance. It just seems like he's acting fucking pissy all no. of a sudden. Not like yeah. I'm like I'm gonna kill you. J- kind of Jacobs, thing. yeah, he's very pissy. Yeah, he's yeah, very he, like yeah. he's got a fucking he's got attitude. Such a fucking whole... attitude. <laughs> he's always picking fights. Like he's always arguing with like even when they're together. Like because they get together at the end of the movie, and from basically this point on, it's it's um, Bella and Edward. Um, yeah, this is kind of J- the... Jacob's always just like, yeah, what about me? Yeah, I yeah, it love such to, a fucking yeah. baby. And it, yeah, it, <laughs> I, Jacob really becomes unlikable very quickly. Be- also due to the Taylor Lautner performance, um, and the fact that Jacob just has no character either. None of them do. No, right, yeah, they, nothing going on. The, the you know the the vampires and the werewolves have beef. And, you know, I'm curious because obviously you know this movie establishes uh, you know that there are also werewolves in this world. Are there other mystical mythical creatures? Are there yeah. leprechauns? There Frankenstein or, and yeah. <laughs> or like mummies? <laughs> <Invisible> you know, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Is it just yeah werewolves and vampires? That's it. it like they're not even really werewolves. They kind of just they you just know, like, turn shape-ship. into wolves. Yeah, yeah. They turn I, into I, wolves, which is not a werewolf. A werewolf is like a half human half wolf like kind of like the wolf yeah, man that's yeah, what i picture american werewolf in london yeah it's yeah, involuntary like that. and that, that transformation shitty cgi wolves that look fucking awful yeah i mean like yeah the transformation in american werewolf in london looked better and that was like almost 30 years before this yeah but yeah yeah it's right it's just a bunch of cgi it's not <laughs> it, it takes so long for jacob to reveal he's a werewolf i didn't remember how long it took it's like a good hour yeah. and a half or hour 20 before he transforms into a werewolf it yeah. keeps it going for that long <laughs> it's like apocalypse now you gotta yeah. wait like an hour and a half to like yeah. brando yeah. shows up yeah. <laughs> <laughs> twilight fashion nothing happens and everything is dragged out to a ridiculous to the nth degree like oh everything. absolutely you know because you know, we we said how the first one had no plot. This really has, yeah, you know, at least this the one first really one, has nothing you know, establishes on. the characters or whatever, like the romance. This is just like, nothing. <laughs> it's pretty bad shit. I can't even <laughs> tell you. Yeah, it's, it is. It seems kind of like crazy, just because the the writing is so bad. It, like none of it makes any sense. It's it's kind of amusing at how random. Oh, it's definitely it amusing. Like, I love like like the all the werewolves are like these shirtless dudes, and they just like walk around all day shirtless in like jean yeah. shorts. It's like oh, it's they so rock in the silly. shorts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And yeah. their dialogue is so bad, and 
Yeah. I am the grandson of a chief. Yeah. I am the grandson of chief. The, their mouths yeah. don't move when they... T- it's like Homeward Bound. Do they, yeah. it's just like, Do they show that in this one, or is that more an eclipse where they have the I, I think that's Breaking Dawn Part 1. Oh, I Breaking Dawn like Part 1. Part. Yeah, no, yeah, it yeah. is Part 1. Cause, yeah, I remember that. Because, yeah, they don't show like the lips move. I, 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 yeah. There might be a cut where they did that, and it looked so bad. That they were like, can we just like get rid of the lips and have them talk like psychically? Yeah, they're like, yeah, that's probably yeah, working. Yeah, that works. The, 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 f- the werewolves are really uncanny valley because they have human expressions too. Because mm-hmm. I guess it's like a, a human's mind in the body of a wolf. So they like make these faces that are very like, you know, unrealistic for a wolf to. Yeah, like imagine yeah, a wolf yeah. smiling at you like, <laughs> it looks <Yeah>. fucking scary. <laughs> like but that's uh, like kind of what's winged. going on here. Yeah, yeah. It's uncanny valley, not the yeah, Channel Awesome yeah. movie. The, no, the, the actual <laughs> uncanny bad. valley. Like the, <laughs> That's a like bad movie the, too. Yeah, yeah, like where the Robert Zemeckis like movies, like the yeah, the uh, motion capture. Yeah, um, like that's the uncanny valley, like that stuff. The, the, the funny thing is too, like New Moon probably wasn't even the worst movie that year because there was also Transformers too. <laughs> yeah, with that, that being was, said, it's one of it's the pretty worst bad. Movies. Yeah, it might be the, the worst in the franchise. Yeah. Might be, might be my least favorite. At, le- at least like, like on fucking, paper. It's so like dragged out. I can't like. It really, it, you know, and it, it ends with you know Edward proposing to Bella because otherwise it, it's like almost completely you know superfluous. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it ends with the same cliffhanger as like the the next one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you know it does. <laughs> You know, establish Jacob as a werewolf, but like, yeah, you know, like this and like Eclipse could have been just been like one movie, basically. basically. Although Eclipse kind of works as its own. Yeah, yeah, right. Works. Just in terms of like, <laughs> let's just get into Eclipse. I mean, what would you rate um, New Moon? Uh, <laughs> I give it like a two. Star. Yeah, two out of ten. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. a one star if I've ever seen it. This is one of the worst movies I think I've ever seen. <laughs> um, yeah. If I had to make a list of like, I don't know, like hundred. Or it's like mainstream, like yeah. In terms of a theatrically yeah. released film yes. that like yeah. people go see, like normal, not like those straight to DVD movies. Yeah, like Bruce back was trace in, like, sort of. Yeah, yeah, not like or like like that. Not like those kind of things, right? Not considering those, yeah. this is a fucking bad major movie. motion picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's shockingly bad, and and the teenage girls just ate it up. I'm gonna look up the box office for this one quick. It did pretty um, well. I mean, you know, because you know. Good movies that year made money, like Up and you know, um, and Glorious Bastards or whatever. Yeah, but this was <laughs> a pretty big hit. Yeah, this is yeah, kind of like the height of the Twilight phenomenon. It probably made. Yeah. Did it make more than the first one? It might have. Seven hundred ten million, it made. That's pretty yeah. good. Um, because that was when like the big, you know, the Team Edward, Team Jacob stuff was kind of developing. Yeah, yeah. The first one, yeah, the first one made like four hundred million. Yeah, that was kind of, I think it was a surprise hit, yeah, the first one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and, yeah, the um, second one made like double. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I figured it That's made crazy. more. And um, mm-hmm. uh, unlike uh, Harry Potter, the books were pretty much done when the, the movie started. So it wasn't like they had to, I don't know, like adjust so they, things. Yeah. For, they could faithfully adapt the material. Yeah, like unlike uh, <laughs> yeah, like Game of Thrones. Or whatever. Really flesh out the story for the yeah the, for the fan, fans the, the diehards. The, yeah, yeah, it's uh These fucking characters suck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Eclipse, it's uh, I would say this is probably the best best one. <laughs> it it might be honestly, yeah. It, <laughs> It, it, like like on its own I merits. Say that with like, like it's not gritting great. My teeth. <laughs> but no, but my it is. Teeth. It's definitely yeah. more dialed back than New Moon. New Moon's really ridiculous. It it, it 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 probably out of the five movies, it has like the closest to like a coherent beginning to end story. Yeah, it has. Um, I think what works really well for it, I was telling you, is that it, it feels kind of self contained. Feels yeah. like more like an episodic. Like this is like it's just a its own little episode. Where mm-hmm. you know the characters already, and we just kind of put them. You have like, like Stockholm a, syndrome with the series. The, yeah. You're kind of just used to it by now. Like you get right, like, All right, right. You know the Spock characters. Landing. Let's just right. Well, this film, you know, it has an antagonist. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a couple, conflict yeah. throughout. You know, they they establish there's these other vampires who are bad and they kill people and they want to get revenge yeah. on Edward or something. Yeah, Bryce Dallas Howard's one of the the vampires and 
she yeah, used to she, be with Edward, right, or something. Well, you know, she's playing a character. It was a different actor in the previous two, but it's like, you know, like the character she was with that trio that tried to attack Bella, like at the baseball game or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, she manipulates. Like it opens with the like, yeah, this other guy getting turned into a vampire, and he kind of like she uses, uses him as a pawn to like you know. Edward even says, like, at the end, like, she used you because you know Forks. Like, you know the town. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, his name's uh, it's Riley. It's just a funny line. Yeah, yeah. Because you know Forks. <laughs> you know Forks. You know Sporks, too. Yeah. And um, his name's Riley Beers, as in you need many beers to sit through these movies. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, like you said, it is a little, yeah, more self-contained. And um, I think, honestly, my favorite scene is... Um, when Bella's talking with her dad about like safe sex or whatever, because at least it's like just like kind of like a regular scene. It's not like the bunch like the fucking love triangle baloney. It's kind of like just like a break from the other shit. <laughs> this movie it had scenes that were bearable. Yeah, <laughs> like that. I actually like the scene where Edward and Jacob talk in the tent. The the one where people yeah. re-edited it to put like Brokeback Mountain music over it because it's kind of unintentionally gay which it is but it's like a, a little fine bit. it's like at least edward and jacob are like finally fucking talking like human beings and not just yeah. like you know bickering at each other like yeah. and you know bella's asleep so she's not there to fucking rob them up or whatever they're just like talking yeah. like dudes and yeah there's yeah. like some funny lines in there like i'm hotter than you and like, this well, shit like uh, even uh, edward it, it's a little more self-aware because like yeah it's intentionally was... the funniest one i'd say where there were lines or like yeah, that, where like, I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of, not, that's not bad. <laughs> Ed- Edward says, even says like, where well, like, does Jacob like own a shirt? Like, yeah. Cause I'm sure, like all the jokes about like the yeah. first one. Yeah. Uh, sorry. The second Is this one. This the one where they, they say Jacob stay. No, just Jake stay. Like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like that stuff. Um, but again, that's like it's, 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 it's not a lot. It's not yeah. like this movie's still bad. It's, it's not very I'll good. give it yeah. that, and I'll give it like you know, there's like CGI in this one. I think I think it is a bit better. Yeah, and, and um, they do like, you, like and, more more effects, more like that kind of stuff. Action, yeah, more more action. Yeah, and yeah, um, they they do kind of flesh out some of the supporting cast a little more because they didn't really get much development in the other two like uh mm-hmm. the jasper character you find out he's a conf- he was a confederate soldier <laughs> which is really <laughs> odd <laughs> yeah he, and, but yeah she's like you'll never have to be that again i don't know what i've become without her never have to be that again yeah. yeah, and then the other cat, whatever, uh, Rosalie, you know, because they the Nikki Reed, you know, she's yeah, kinda yeah, like, she got she, like killed she's had by these beef guys. With Bella, but yeah, she's like opening yeah. up a little more. Like, yeah, right. Like, yeah. she got revenge. Like, Jack Houston was like her lover, but you know, she he double crossed her. It does kind of hurt the pacing, and and also, like, it's really just those two that get more like backstory. Like, the, like, the, still, like, the rest of the family, like, you know, Edward's mother, whatever you want to call her, like, I still don't know much about her. Don't yeah, like it's suck. like too too many yeah too many people to like reasonably keep track of. Yeah, and they're all like the fucking same. Um, well, like the Eddie, yeah. I mean, Kellen Glutz, he's kind of like just like a jackass, like a like says like you know just makes like dumb joke. But that's like literally like, like his his whole ca- <laughs> that's like all he says is like, hey Bella and Edward, you're gonna fuck, <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> that's like Edward's all he says. Still, Edward's still a creep. I sent you the scene when uh. When we were watching it, <laughs> well, oh, when, yeah, when I was yeah. watching it the first time, it's she goes in her car and then she like, I guess she's going to see Jacob and then the car he, won't start yeah, and she, the she truck, turns yeah. and Edward's fucking right next to her. <laughs> yeah, he, he it's sidles like, up Jesus to her. Christ, a will this yeah. guy leave her alone? <laughs> yeah, and side, you know, uh, Robert Pattinson like in an interview. There's a funny YouTube clip like of all. It's like a compilation of him like mocking Twilight because he kind of shits on it a lot. He's uh-huh, like, you know, course. Edward. He yeah. seems like a fucking murderer. You know, <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty funny. And he's also like, like the creepiest fucking guy. He is pretty creepy. Yeah, he's like yeah, because in the first one he like he's like I like watching you sleep and they. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I think it might be the first time they kiss. Like they start making out and like his hat on propels him. I don't even know how vampires get aroused because they don't have blood. Like, yeah. how does it work? They take I the said ass. that. <laughs> I said that too. <laughs> but yeah, like, if they have no blood, then how do, how do they get erections? 
It's a yeah. it's a valid question. They take Viagra. Uh, we're, we're not the this first. This is not to point nitpicking. This is totally valid. How do they get an yeah. erection? How do they have sex if they don't have blood? It, you know, it's ironic that Bella's the one pushing for sex in a relation. That's not common amongst teenagers. Yeah, right. <laughs> for the dude to not be like, uh, you know, I'm not. She's like taking her clothes off. He's like, no, 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 I don't. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna hurt well, you. It's, the the logic of the movie is that he's afraid that he's gonna kill her. Yeah, he's so he's powerful. So strong. Like it's like the th- yeah, like Superman or whatever. Like oh, like he'd like tear her apart or if he yeah. like bang Lois Lane. His, his dick would <laughs> split her in half. <laughs> 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 or some, I don't know. <laughs> I, like it's I, all I, made up bullshit. I mean, like, he's a hundred of... years old. I would guess he's he's. You know, I mean, he looks like Robert Pat. He's probably been around if if he's capable of <laughs> you know, if that the act. Yeah, but like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it, it, you know, it eclipses really like Hammer's home. That like Jacob is not, you know, he's got fucking problems. Like he cannot handle being friend zoned. Like just fucking take the elder. Yeah, he is no, so this pushy. This whole movie is acting like a whiny bitch. It's like Bella. You like you know you love me. Come on, like yeah, like just like she said no. Like how many fucking times are you gonna like just try? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it happens a lot. I would stop inviting Jacob to things, but they keep inviting him to things, and the same thing yeah. keeps happening. They keep having arguments or whatever. It's all it all almost seems like they get off to it <laughs> like that's how like much it happens i mean yeah. we'll get more into that with the next one i just want to mention one last thing pattinson he looked a little buff a little more buff in this one i don't mm-hmm. know if that was just me well like, uh, uh, apparently when i i had read when i think f- for the first one when like Catherine hadwick wanted to cast rob pattinson they're like I guess the studio is like, I don't know, like, is he, like, attractive enough? I guess he had, like, had a bit of a gut. I mean, they might have been exaggerating, like, it's because he liked going to the pub or whatever. He's like, you know, Ed and Shaun of the Dead or whatever. But, yeah, I just thought that was funny. They're like, oh, I don't know. Is he the right fit? <laughs> yeah, I think he was ended up being the right fit. I... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we see the, the career he's had since. And, yeah, um, he's a good actor, I mean. Yeah, and, like, uh, Kristen Stewart's done other stuff. You know, I think... Is it next week or the week after? You know, like she's got some A twenty four movie coming out that looks good. That yeah. Love Lies Bleeding. So yeah, I think Taylor Lautner has probably done the yeah the least. Since. Oh wait, you didn't like Abduction? <laughs> we can mention that. Too. I, I knew we gotta him. Talk about that one one day. I knew him so from fun. yeah. That's a funny one. Uh, I knew him from Cheaper by the Dozen too. Uh, yeah, before because that was before. Uh, yeah, Twilight. I knew him from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Right, which I, I remember. Yeah, I, I didn't see that, but yeah, I remember that he was in it. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, so Eclipse. Yeah. That's I think that's all. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what. Else. Yeah, this one. We, yeah, I probably have the least to say. Yeah, because it is a little more like toned down. It, it does have like a coherent story. But I th- yeah, this is too much of like uh, Be- Bella and Edward and like the the love triangle stuff. It's already wearing thin by like the third movie. Like, there's only so much mileage you can get yeah. out of like, oh, I love I love you, but I love him more and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, I, I feel I did... it really worked that it, it was disconnected from the other films. Because, like, New Moon is really tied to the first one and, like, mm-hmm. establishing, like, Jacob and all that. And then, the you know, part one and part two, the next two movies are t- connected. This movie is kind of like its own standalone. Yeah, the middle chapter. Thing. Yeah, right. I, I think that's, that's probably why I prefer it more to, like, um, you know. I got I, in terms of just like a, like, objectively, I mean. In terms uh, yeah, of as a movie. Quality of a movie. It is. It is like a slight improvement. Um, like the the werewolves look a little bit better, and like there's more CGI and there's more action and there's more like coherent plot and stuff. And yeah, like, Bryce Dallas How sorry, Bryce Dallas yeah. Howard's decent as the like the villain and yeah, I guess, but it, it's still fucking bad i mean i don't want to like yeah <laughs> it, it, like like we like sell it no no yeah yeah it, like we I already still, mentioned it, it's it's just it's so hurt also by the other movies also where i don't care about these characters really so no, as good yeah. as like they try to like make these other elements at the end of the day i'm just not really invested in in this story or anything so you can't really like there's only so much they can redeem it and there's only so much they can polish a turd <laughs> yeah they don't I, I'm yeah, just I, like, I, yeah this movie still sucks but i could acknowledge like yeah there's a couple things about it that are like mildly improved but they, again, they don't, it doesn't really 
add much to me. It's still a fucking shitty movie <laughs> to me. But, but, like, like we said already, like they don't do a good enough job of like justifying why everybody's like putting their asses on the line for Bella. Because yeah, yeah, I get like she's Edward's girlfriend. And Especially you like her, now, but, like, right? It's been three movies. Like, what do they have going for them at all? Like, they have no chemistry. They fucking they're both do, boring. They're both. Does she away. can she cook? Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, like she is she just like, a lively she's, she's personality no, or she smart? Yeah, like I, I did appreciate she is a little like lively in this one you know because in the new moon she was like fucking sobbing and <coughs> she's a little more <laughs> a little more upbeat at least by comparison and um yeah uh it's i, I was looking back because i i saw this in the theater i dragged my dad to go it, it was a week before inception but uh mm-hmm. it, which do you like better <laughs> uh, yeah that's a tough one um i noticed the fans have this one rated kind of low um, yeah, Twilight. like on Letterboxd, it's one of the lower rated ones. It might be because there isn't much development in it. It is kind of just like another entry yeah. in the series. It, it ends yeah. with the same cliffhanger as the second one where like, oh, let's get married or he proposes. Right. Some shit like that. Uh, it's like it's like basically the oh, same. Oh, oh yeah, he, he, he like yeah, in, in New Moon he floated it. Yeah, like oh we should get married. This one he actually does propose. Yeah, the, the he ring, does actually propose. The, the right, ring he so. gives her is fucking ugly. Like I don't think that's <laughs> like it looks. It looks like he got it at Claire's or something. Well, yeah, he has no fucking <laughs> job. So what's he <laughs> yeah? He's like, a fuck. He goes to high school. He's 150 years old. He goes to high school. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, make how do they much. make? Well, I guess the dad is a doctor. That's how they make money. But still, like but, the, the rest of them don't work at all. Like go to night school. What the fuck? You could be a a, a night watchman. You could be uh, <laughs> just like <laughs> yeah. be out of the sun. <laughs> if I live to be 150, I just I'd hope I'd be a more interesting person than that. <laughs> I hope I have more interests. <laughs> Than like nothing, because they they all do nothing. <laughs> nothing. No, they, they just walk around in their house. <laughs> they walk around. If, it's like, if people, do, what do you guys do? You like sports? Like, I guess they like. Or they baseball. like baseball. Yeah, they like baseball. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like the scene from Top Gun, the, the volleyball scene, like the unintentional. I, I, I was thinking of that, yeah. uh, but like in reference to the werewolves, because they walk around like you know bare chested yeah. and like shorts. Yeah. Um, well, the the gay stuff in these movies, I mean, goes without saying, they're very gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I I just thought it'd be funny. Cool. Ralph Seppi, <laughs> very <laughs> gay. Um, you know, if Edward like those characters, you know, because they are so old, if they use more like outdated phrase, like "heavens to Betsy," like they sound, <laughs> they sounded like you know, he talked yeah, like, a, like Mr. Actually, Burns. That would have added to it. Yeah, I would have liked yeah. that. We said a lot about it. Uh, yeah, cl- what would you rate this one? I'll give Eclipse a one and a half stars out of five. There you go. Yeah, I'd give it like a three or four. Like, yeah, not as dire as like some. It, yeah, um, but yeah, still not. I just great. I can't go higher than that because I don't care about what's happening. I was confused <laughs> on their eyes because sometimes they have red eyes. Is that only when you're a new vampire you have red eyes? Maybe, yeah, I was wondering that too. But because then, like Dakota <laughs> Fanning had red eyes. Maybe I guess she's just really stoned. Yeah, because she's really because she's really special or something. <laughs> Fucking baked. Um. <laughs> yeah. And now on to the final, the final two films, the epic conclusion to this, the <laughs> Twilight Saga, oh, yeah. Breaking Dawn Part One. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, and. So- uh, I love these movies, Cam. I just want you to know <laughs> these last two. Yeah. I I love these movies. They're pretty they funny. Are so funny. They are like to, like I said before, this series was trying in the beginning to be good, to mixed success. Yeah. And then I feel they really like Went camp it up <laughs> with these last two. Part two in particular, yeah. They the embrace the schlockiness of it, and and it, it's not good. I'm not saying it's good, but it's very, um, at least entertaining. I found the second one more entertaining more than the first one, but the oh, first yeah, one yeah. has some parts actually that made me laugh f- watching it again now. Um, it's also a yeah. fucking slog, you know. For context, you know, Harry Potter that they split the last book and the two movies even if you had issues with that there is a lot of story the same can't be said for breaking dawn part one because yeah. it's like a bunch of like literally the first act of the movie is just the wedding Bella and <laughs> it's Edward a lot like married. uh 
It's a lot like The Hobbit. <laughs> it's like them adapting The Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, trying yeah. To make that I mean, three similar. Movies. Yeah, they're trying to make this little book. It's, you know, it, it's, it's not much so material, thin. but they're trying to make it two movies now. And, you know, even the other movies were stretched out. And this yeah. one's like, oh Great. my, like, Run you know, on fumes. I said when I was watching part one, I'm like, did we need to start with, like, everyone getting invited to the wedding? Couldn't it just start with the wedding? Couldn't we, like, Godfather just start at the wedding? Right, Johnny Fontaine shows up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like, uh, you gotta see Edward as a bachelor party, and he goes out one night, and then you have to see Bella in her bed turn off the lamp and go to sleep. <laughs> and well, that, it's like, you don't need to see any of this shit. It's just yeah, there for padding. The exactly. Pad out the runtime. That, that kind of happened to a lesser extent, but still, like the Hunger Games, when they split that last book into two movies, there was a lot of padding in those too. And, yeah, um, absolutely. With, and, with the, I guess I, I've never seen the Divergent movies, but obviously, you know, they did that too. But then they never did the pot, the the last spot, like the pot two, or the finale. Yeah. Oh really? Like they just gave. Oh yeah, they gave up. It's mm. like, could, could you imagine if they did that with Harry Potter? <laughs> like they never made the last. People would be fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's so yeah exactly like do we it, it feels like you're watching the extended edition, but this is like yeah the theatrical version. Like why are all these scenes? Why do we need two scenes of Bella and Edward playing chess on their fucking? <laughs> I think there was at least two. Maybe there were three. Fucking Bella, like oh no, that's the next one. Bella like arm wrestling or whatever. Yeah, that's the next I, one. I, but, I, uh, I just read because that's like after um, I'm getting like ahead of myself. But, it, it, but like, right. man, what even fucking happens in this movie? Holy shit! Nothing. They, they, they get like the wedding is at the beginning. <laughs> like uh, it's like the first half hour, or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only the first half hour. Is uh, and um, one thing we haven't mentioned is I think at least the first four like all open with some like pretentious monologue that Bella's narrate. Yeah. Like I always imagined how I would die. Blah blah blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's like some. So in this one, it opens. You know, she's blah, 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 blah. Uh, Jacob, he, you know, walks out in a, you know, in a sta- fit of rage. He, like, tosses the yeah, That's how the movie the- starts. Well, the movie starts with everyone getting the invitation. You see yeah. Jacob. He runs out of the house and like, he rips off his shirt. <laughs> it's the first thing in the movie you see. I'm like, yes! This it's, movie, it's a, it's it knows what it, like, it does. knows what the audience wants for this, like, bullshit. Yeah, um, yeah. That was really funny. That's what I'm He's- like, all right, this movie's kind of winning me over already. That that was funny and yeah it the was funny, you know yeah. Bella's mother gets invited all their friends and yeah Anna Kendrick's character is like why is she get Bella getting married at eighteen like yeah it's like fucking nuts like we're like mm-hmm. in the south yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah so you see the wedding it's like all this the, the wedding is so ugly <laughs> yeah and why why aren't they sparkling they're yeah yeah Bella and Edward make up for kind of a while at the wedding like almost a minute I timed it. Oh wait, the when they kiss? Yeah, that's not. Really oh yeah, a, yeah. You're just supposed to kiss. It's not that's supposed not to be like fucking yeah, sucking the, each other's tongues. Or, yeah. yeah, fucking going to second base or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little well, like a little cute kiss for the crowd. Yeah, it's not like oh, let me fucking get, like get it on. But it, yeah, it's like, do we need to see all the like wh- weddings can be fun to watch? Like yeah, like Sopranos, they did an episode like they're at a wedding. But yeah, this is just like it's like the most basic shit. Like they're just hanging. Oh, I did like how, you know, uh, Bella's parents are hanging out in the the Cullen's the Cullen's house, and it's like I don't know what you call it, almost like a mural. They have all like the high school graduation caps up, and like Bella's mom's like, oh, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Dad's like, it's weird. Like, yeah, it is weird. Like, why are they yeah. staying in high school? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he's he's like speaking for the audience. He's like the audience surrogate, basically. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, it goes on and on. Like the, like people giving toast. Yeah, it feels like deleted scenes. <laughs> like, why is this all in here? Okay, yeah. So anyway, yeah, Jacob so- gets invited to the wedding, but like not during the ceremony. He's like. He he, he's like comes later. like yeah he's like around the side Ed, of the house edward yeah i guess let's i don't know i don't know if like fucking jacob what, what are they text now are they fucking yeah <laughs> yeah they somehow yeah. got in contact and and yeah they like Su- why are you coming douche. to the wedding <laughs> yeah. yeah and of course it doesn't go well At, jacob's like you're making a mistake bella well well the, the reason is because yeah. bella you know i guess they're gonna have sex they're you gonna know, have whatever. sex and yeah she, yeah she jacob's concerned about consummate the marriage uh, Bella getting killed 
Yeah, because, you know, Bella is so insistent. You got to make me a vampire. You gotta blah, blah, blah. So it's like, you know, if, if, I, if you're going to be a vampire, we got to get married. She's like, okay. <laughs> and mm-hmm. yeah, so then, yeah, they get married. That's like a whole big thing. And so, yeah, then they go on the honeymoon to Brazil. And yeah, again, more fucking padding. They're like, all right, let's get, you know, like we got to see Edward carry. I Bella like over they the show. Threshold. So they show Edward driving the car there. Like, you see them, yeah. it's like a shot of a car on a highway. So I'm like, did they drive yeah. to Brazil? Oh, I wouldn't. I, I would think they flew. <laughs> but, so I guess that was them driving a, to the airport. <laughs> or maybe that they're, they're driving, you know, because they're, they're like on you an island. You see them fly back. They take like a private plane or something. <laughs> where do, yeah, where do you get all this fucking money? I, I, get, I, the, the, I get the Kyle the, the doctor. From the dad being a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he got like on a ferry or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, yeah so but they, like, they leave that part kind of vague. And then they like they go to yeah, was it Rio? And then they take a boat yeah. to like an island. And it's like yeah. this it's like I don't know, like I feel like it, you, you took me all this fuck away for this dumpy little room. I mean they're on the like, beach, but yeah, they're just like, yep, we're it's gonna It's kinda like gonna... a shitty honeymoon, I thought. <laughs> well, it, it's it's shitty to watch. It's fucking boring. Yeah, it's fucking it, it's like, boring. It's yeah, like you, finally... yeah, you got some hot on a fucking island, like really Plus, you know, I would be pissed if I were Edward because I could just, you know, the fast mm-hmm. walking thing they do, could have just fast walked there. But instead, he had <laughs> Tele- to, you know, teleport. he had to take a fucking plane and make oh. concessions for my yeah, human yeah, bride. Yeah, like, I gotta sit on a plane. Fucking... Yeah, yeah, I wish Bella like... would just be a vampire already. We could both just run there. Yeah, take like I lo- ten uh... minutes. One of the funniest lines from like the riff tracks is like like the va- the Cullens are laughing. It's like oh to be eternally damned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we're on um, their... <laughs> I laughed at one of the lines Jacob said. He calls like uh, he's talking to Bella about Edward. He's like you're gonna trust that blood sucker. You can spout that crap to your blood sucker, but you don't fool me. He calls him a yeah, blood yeah, sucker. Yeah. Like, that blood sucker. <laughs> He this says is the way he t- says it with that whiny fucking voice. Yeah, like he says that a couple like you. What's, um, it's like the Nikki Reed. He's like, it's when are you and Blondie BFFs? Like you're like you're such a d- tool. <laughs> like why do you talk like that? Since when are you and Blondie BFFs? Bell and Edward. Yeah, they arrive at their ho- whatever you call it bungalow hotel and like, all right, we're gonna do it now. Like Bella gets re- there's like a scene of her preparing for them for their sex. Like what if she like shaves her legs or whatever? She's like in the the bathroom and then they so they then they do it and you know edward's aghast like oh my god like she has like you know little bruises like you know it doesn't take a vampire to do that <laughs> you know it's not something yeah, compared but to- she's like yeah it's kind of like an abuse it's like a whole metaphor for their relationship he's just like abusive to her and she's like no nah, that's fine it, no, don't worry about she it. She kind of know. brushed, especially since you know, <laughs> you know, obviously a new moon. Like he proposed after being fucking absent for six months. Like yeah, that's exactly. Ma- manipulative that's what I mean. bullshit. <laughs> They're in a horrible, abusive relationship. <laughs> she can't yeah, get out of it. it's not like yeah, she's a child. Basically, I mean, I know she's eighteen, yeah, but she's, she's young. making these like huge life decisions. She's fucking yeah. eighteen years old. Yeah. Like, if I were her father, I'd be fucking, like, what the fuck are you doing? We're running away with this fucking guy going off to Rio for your, like, like, yeah. Like, this whole, and then, you know, when she's there, she's, like, almost fucking dies, basically. I know it, but she basically yeah. gets impregnated, and yeah. within a couple weeks, she starts to have, show, like, a vampire baby. Yeah, and, yeah. And the vampire baby is, like, because she's a human and it's a vampire baby inside of her, it's like really bad for her health. It's like sucking all the nutrition out of her body. Yeah, um, yeah. So one she thing starts I, dying. <laughs> one one positive thing I, I will say is uh, I think the makeup on her is pretty good. Like, yeah, she does. She the, does look that's very the best effect in any of these movies. Yeah, it is. It is. I think it is convincing. Yeah, she does look you know emaciated. Yeah. And, um, it, it, one one funny thing I thought you know because obviously you know they they're having sex on the honeymoon and you know you know uh, Bella's throwing up and uh, it, it's funny they actually do show it like has, usually like some other times like in movies like they like blah but like you literally see like her vomit and uh, you, you know she look she has a toilet she looks at the tampax and she's like how long has it been since the wedding and Edward's like what do you mean like fucking dummy like she's looking at the tampon like obviously she missed a period like <laughs> you're like 150 years old you can't fucking figure it out <laughs> yeah yeah it's so I'm um, so any yeah um 
Yeah, she saying? becomes pregnant yeah, with yeah. the she becomes their pregnant. demon baby. Edward's not happy about it at all. He's like, "We're gonna cut that fucker out of you. We're gonna get that thing out of you." But yeah, not very they call sensitive. It it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not, not like the nostalgia. <laughs> Doug's infamous Twilight video. Yeah, um, but yeah, like the whole situation is just like, what the fuck? Like Bella's dad would be absolutely mortified if he knew what was going on. Well, they kind of hide her away for a bit. Like, she's like, yeah, they she doesn't even keep see him out him. of it. Yeah, like, yeah, because at one point, you know, obviously she's not doing well. She's all skinny and, you know, it's like, I'm going to go to a medical center in Switzerland. He's like, what the fuck are you doing going to Switzerland? Like, yeah, yeah. no shit. Like what, like, what is going on? Like, he has no idea what's going on. Yeah, they keep him <laughs> completely in the dark. Meanwhile, she's like about to fucking die. Yeah, she's looking rough. She a fucking breaks when she break her back she's just like that standing, scene like, that scene's fucking hilarious man. it comes like out of nowhere f- so they start it, to to make fell to make bella feel better they give her like these little blood shakes it's like a frap yeah like they yeah yeah give it, like, they like a put blood like in a cup and she <laughs> yeah. drinks it it makes her feel better i guess it's for <laughs> yeah. the baby it's but kind then, of pretty bizarre i guess they give her and she drops it and she reaches down to grab it and she fucking breaks her back <laughs> It happens out of nowhere. Like, this scene is yeah. so, like, out of nowhere. I was like, what well, the fuck? It's, I think it's the same. Sorry, to cut you off. Like, I think it's the same scene when she decides what she's going to name yeah, the baby. Yeah, the Renezme. Right, because yeah. her mother is Renee and uh, whatever. The other mother's es- Esme, Esme. So, Renesme. And they're like, uh, it's unique. <laughs> that's what Edward says. Well, that's not, that doesn't sound like a fucking compliment. They're like, oh, yeah. I love it. It's like, oh, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was the one time Taylor Lautner was good in the movie because he was, he was, the face he made was like, that's, that sounds terrible. That's a terrible name. <laughs> they just decide to give her the blood shake and then she breaks her back and then it transitions to this fucking hilarious scene where they, they you know, she has to give birth and. And they're, it's just yeah. like a bunch of screaming. Like, it's like body no horror. Like, yeah, like Bella's a fucking masochist. Like, she's a, like, this is all voluntary on her part. Yeah, this is all a, at least for, you know, Rosemary's baby. She didn't know what was going, you know, she got, you know, whatever, manipulated, or, yeah, like abused. Yeah, this is like it is Bella the funniest this. thing <laughs> I've ever seen. Like, that, that Bella giving birth scene or whatever the hell that was. Yeah, yeah, she was giving birth. Yeah, yeah. She, you think she's gonna? Die. I mean, she almost dies. It's pretty serious. Yeah, a lot of blood, and it, and it comes right after that absolutely shocking moment of her breaking her back. <laughs> yeah, breaking mama's back. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the back breaking. And, and also, like, why would that be fun for the audience? Like, you know, if you really, if they're attached to Bella, like, like seeing like the shit get kicked at, like, you know, Harry Potter, like, what, like breaks his fucking head open or something. You know what I mean? Like, what? It's it's not like it doesn't seem like pleasant to watch. Well, childbirth isn't pleasant, Cam, especially giving birth to a baby that's a vampire, a demon baby. Well, ha- half like a uh, half vampire, half human. Yeah, and, and the um. The baby, it well, looks like the E-Trade baby, like those commercials. The baby looks yeah. so bad. It's oh the my, CGI the, baby. The, and I think their their logic of doing that was they wanted her to slowly look like the actress they cast. Mackenzie Foy, yeah. Yeah, Went up Murph. Being in, in Estella. Yeah, yeah, Murph. We can make the CGI baby's face slowly look like the little girl like you know it's, it's a fuck it's a fucking baby like, yeah what, they, they could have just and they, yeah, and they the show difference? like a real baby and then they yeah. just transition to a cgi baby yeah that that baby looked fucking horrible it's one of the like, worst like effects any in points the i wanted to give for that bella effect like yeah. it gets deducted <laughs> by the baby like it offsets yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah that yeah. baby looked fucking awful yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the, again again like you know we're saying eclipse was a little more like you know coherent but there's like there's like hardly any story and it's like yeah they get married they go on the honeymoon then bella's pregnant that's like basically i mean there's like a subplot with jacob he's like feels ostracized from the pack or but it's like not compelling at all because like i like the, yeah you know it's just a that's bunch of werewolf him, I, yeah, I can't really tell exactly. those characters apart because like they only have like a couple lines of piece yeah. really yeah that was I am the son of son the of chief. A chief. <laughs> I am the. Yeah. 
<laughs> I am Maximus. Yeah. They're, they're all talking psychically with each other. That scene was funny too. It's just like, uh, did they ever like establish that that they talk psychically or anything? Like, I, I don't think no so. they didn't really talk bef- no, prior to really. that they when always they were just werewolves. Talked to, yeah, they just fought yeah. as wolves. Yeah. Uh, of edward edward's like barely in the movie <laughs> like i feel or like he barely has dialogue he doesn't have much yeah he doesn't I, just have much of a presence in it ultimately because there's like so much other shit going on yeah like, especially yeah i guess Bella's in it a decent amount she's kind of like proactive in it because she's the one giving the baby and she wants to be like vampire or whatever but like edward's yeah. kind of just like off to the side the whole time like having no impact in anything <laughs> yeah he doesn't well, do anything yeah going p- piggybacking off of that i i love at the very beginning of the movie like bella you know like they're getting ready for the wedding like they're setting the benches down or whatever yeah. you know bella's looking in the window in the house she's just looking at everybody he's just like standing there doing nothing <laughs> he's just like yep yeah, yeah a lot like, of that in this movie a lot of just staring yeah especially because again with like rob pats we see it's something like tenant like you know what a charismatic you know interesting presence he can be and yeah this one yeah edwards is kind of like Bleh, let's get this fucking baby out or whatever <laughs> uh yeah they're all yeah the the werewolves are all apoplectic about you know there being a demon bait why are they so obsessed with bella like every fucking movie it's like bella bella but like are there not like other humans that yeah the about? werewolves and the vampires fight it looks like fucking shit at the end it's a bunch of like close-up dark it's all at night there's no light anywhere because it's in the woods so it's, you can't yeah. make out anything that's happening it's just yeah. it's like a bunch of wolves it, it's terrible terrible action scene at the end yeah, and it's because too, like I guess that's like the climax of this movie because they split, you know, like like yeah. with the other examples, like when you split a book in a, you know two or three movies, you gotta like make like a smaller climax. Yeah, but yeah it's the not climax that is that, they, that the werewolves attack the vampires because they think Bella died. Yeah, but you know, yeah. the, then then uh, be, you know, Edward Stett's doing his uh, chewy chewy on a, you yeah, know, or he, like, like her thigh her. or neck, and, and injects like venom into her. They so, what, like what was that? Some <laughs> bring the needle down in a stabbing yeah. motion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> It'd be funny if she's like what, <laughs> like you know, like snaps. Yeah, it, like, like supposed it to come out of it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would have that would have been funny. Get the shot. <laughs> yeah, that's what Robert Pattinson should have said. Get the shot. <laughs> yeah, you get, you get my little medical book. Um, and also, too, around this point, you know, because it feels like at that point, like the movie should be over, but there's still like 10 minutes left. There's also, you know, uh, Jacob's like, that fucking baby, like she, she killed Bella. I'm going to like, you know, do whatever. And like, you know, she comes in and sorry, he comes in the room and Rosalie's holding the baby. And like yeah. he sees the baby's like we, we never oh. um, yeah we never established imprinting we never explained right. what that is yeah is they, the, it's something the werewolves do where they it's not a uh, romantic love necessarily necessarily right but. it's like more of a protector kind of I'm a, I'm protective of this person I'm a guardian of this person when you imprint on them so R- Jacob yes. imprints on Renezme their daughter. But, 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 yeah, but yes. It's, as, as many people have pointed out, it's slightly pedo esque. <laughs> it's pedo adjacent. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. Pedo I mean, adjacent. They, they do say that, yeah, it's not necessarily romantic, but obviously, they, they it, like, he, uh, you know, it's assumed that he's going to be her, his, her husband later, whatever lover. Yeah. Because they, they, they flash forward to, you know, her growing up. And yeah. yeah. He's literally he's seen like her as a her. baby. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, right. She, like, she, yeah, it's, it's so yeah. bizarre. It's like that's, you know, like, uh, I don't, it, you haven't seen Wayne's World, but like, you know, he sees the girl he likes. He's like, dream weaver. You know, like, yeah. it's like, wow, he's like, he's, he's mesmerized. It's like, you know, he falls to the ground on his knees. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Even just like from that scene it seems like oh my god he's the in love with the baby like very unclear it's it's I, I mentioned she's a mormon stephanie meyer it, it's definitely uh, yeah. some oh, you think it's some in, weird conservative values in these movies some weird like abstinence before marriage the heteronormative stuff like that. heteronormative stuff. all that yeah. shit it, this this series is full of that fucking shit and that's why that's partly why people probably like them yeah, I mean, she, Bella literally gets married, like you know, whatever a year out of high school, not even. Yeah, or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, sex no, so is not something yeah, that is enjoyed. It's only something to have 
you know. Well, well, they do it. They they do <laughs> they do enjoy. It's for making babies. <laughs> well, they do, they do enjoy it though. Once Bella becomes a vampire, but yeah, once like she becomes like, a vampire. But before that, it's like a fucking menace. It's like yeah, they're tearing not, the the bed apart. Yeah. yeah, that scene is hilarious. He's breaking the bed apart. Yeah, yeah they, the, uh, they, the she wakes headboard. up and the room is fucking destroyed. It's like a like yeah, a Tasmanian devil was in there or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so uh, Breaking Dawn Part One ends with you know it's like Avatar. It ends with their eyes opening, but now you see <laughs> yeah. all red. It ends and, like uh, the Game of Thrones so it's, it's episode with Jon Snow. <laughs> Yeah, and also to like, did you notice the credits for these? Like, what was with the fucking end credits? For yeah, this I one? know, right? It was like, it was like a Clockwork <laughs> Orange. Like, it had like, literally, like, it was very, had like very red, dramatic red <laughs> title pads, like red and very white dramatic. And, uh, yeah, credit sequence. Yeah, it's yeah. funny because like the other movies didn't have like credits no, like that. And no. um, th- there is, I don't know if you caught it. There's like a mid, it's like a Marvel movie. There's like a mid credits. Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't watch. That. It's when you know, um, I guess. Uh, it, they show the Volturi. I forget what exactly happened. I guess, like, it was like a notice about, you know, Bella becoming a vampire now, and, the, you know, they have a baby. And, like, you know, he, he, he Michael Sheen, whatever, Arrow, he reads the note, like, I guess, like, the woman mis, you know, they misspelled Kyle. It's like Kyle with an S, sweet girl. <laughs> this like the way his, you know, his mannerisms and, like, his, you know, intonation is so fun. It's so bizarre. It's like, it's not intimidating at all. Which is spelled with an S, sweet Bianca. But you know he's great. You know he's funny. Like I'm glad he's in yeah. these movies. But like his his character is so you know peculiar. Yeah, he, he really the, hams it up. And oh, he's more. He's in the second one. Really, I don't. The, I don't really two. remember him in part one. No, right, um, right. It's it's that one scene. Yeah, yeah, I don't think yeah. He's, in the, he's not in Eclipse. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. It's just like Dakota Fanning and them. Like you know, like they're like blah blah blah. Like you know, they're <laughs> yeah, like the whole Volturi like council. Like yeah, they're just like. Bunch of kind of like hipsters. Like I don't even know like how to describe them. They're just yeah, very boring, eccentric. just like everyone yeah. else. And this was like another like fairly big direct. Like Bill Condon, he did uh you know um Kinsey. Was it, I watched for class. That wasn't bad. And uh, he did like the Beauty and the Beast remake. Yeah, so he's done some stuff. But yeah, it's Bill Bill Condom. Bill Condom. He did that Gods and Monsters, which I've never seen. The one with like Ian McKellen. I think that's why like earlier in the movie like Edwards watching um. Bride of Frankenstein. I think that's like a reference to that. Because, like, yeah, he's like, oh, oh, okay. I murdered people, Bella. It's like right the night before their wedding. He's, he's like, yeah, whatever. Like, they're bad. It's like Morbius. Like, oh, you killed mercenary. It's not like, <laughs> you know, it's okay that you killed people because they were bad. Mor- Morbius might actually be better than this movie. <laughs> this one's pretty bad. I don't think, did you see this in the theater? Because I didn't. I think I, no. saw, I think I rented it after. No, I didn't, see, I didn't see any of these in the theater. I saw them around when they came out, but I saw them on DVD. Yeah, I saw the third and the fifth. In the th- like, this one came out, I think... I I remember it was like uh, in, in Massachusetts we had a bad storm. It was, it was all it was 2011. It was kind of a rough year for blockbusters. There was this. There was Green Lantern, Green Hornet. There were some bad ones. Transformers, <laughs> a lot of green. Dark of the Moon. Yeah, not a lot of green stuff. in the in their wallet though. <laughs> well, I, uh, for for Got Green em. Lantern, yeah, definitely. Not. <laughs> this and New Moon are probably the worst of uh, like of the five. Just, just uh, like ob- objectively, objectively yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. Because just n- nothing happens in it mm-hmm. is the thing. Like, absolutely. Like, people think I'm, like, joking. Like, no, nothing happens in it like, until, yeah, like, what we said, until yeah, she like gives we birth, scribe, basically. Yeah. It's, like, an hour and a half of, like, absolutely no conflict. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, it, for a movie, I don't know if, I don't know about you, but that gets pretty grating. Yeah. Not having any conflict at all. <laughs> Yeah, of course. It's just, like, yeah. It's it's quite rare to see a film like that is this like mainstream and successful. I have a film that's just like no conflict at all. Because you think people have like short attention spans, right? Like you want to like show them things constantly, <laughs> but I guess they they love just watching these vampires. Taking like, that time. Yeah, just sit around. Yeah, it does in their house. It, it's not. It's never really clear. Like, I guess the stakes are like they could you know get. You know the heads removed, like you know, like the top of a mushroom or whatever. <laughs> that's you know, that's le- more le- the next one though. At, at least in Harry Potter, I think they did a better job, like through the movies, like built continuously building the stakes. Like you know, eventually Voldemort comes back, and then you know, people die. You know, Dumbledore dies, and yeah, like this one is just, yeah, the series is just 
yeah, it doesn't seem like very substantial in terms of story development through each installment. No, not really. Yeah. Yeah, um, what do you okay, rate this one? So <laughs> I would give Breaking Dawn Part 1 one star. Yeah, 2 out of 10, yeah. <laughs> the caveat, it, it's... Funny. Got funny parts, yeah. Yeah. Although I think I prefer even Part 2 in terms of the funny stuff. Because Part yeah, 2 is decent I, Yeah, I do stuff. also. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, part two I saw in the theater alone, like a weirdo. Because yeah, I was yeah. just curious. It's funny too, because I could have seen Silver Linings Playbook, but I guess I wasn't seven. We weren't seventeen. I would have snuck in, but yeah, so Twilight by yeah. myself. You are a weirdo for seeing this. <laughs> I, 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 I did laugh, which we'll get to. Like one one scene in particular. <laughs> this movie, as I've said, it has more decapitations than like. Oh my most god! It's R-rated crazy. Movies. It's so much of it. It's like. Pew. <laughs> and like ripping like like you said like like they rip like the top like the, of people's jaw. heads off they yeah. rip maggie grace's character she like yeah. reports to the voltori that um mm-hmm. you know bella had a had a kid or whatever and uh, they snitch. think it's a demon baby or whatever <laughs> yeah she's the snitch but then the voltori get there at the end and uh they I guess I guess Maggie Grace was wrong about. And she's like, "I'm sorry," and then they get, so they no. they rip off her arms and her yeah. head and light her on fire for a movie made for twelve year old girls. That is awesome. It's pretty <laughs> brutal, and um, you know, I was you know we're jumping ahead, but you know, like the climax, it's revealed like you know most of it didn't happen. Like Alice was this, yeah. you know, foreseen, but she still. I think the Maggie Grace. No, she still she died. died. Yeah. yeah, I made yeah. a point of that when I was watching yeah. it with people. I'm like, yep, yeah, no, she's really dead rough. though. Because yeah. they even like c- comfort them, like it's okay. Like at the end of the battle, yeah. like I know you just yeah. watched your, your <laughs> is it their friend. sister or a something friend? like that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough. She, I, I saw her on set once because I was in a movie. Like she was, uh, yeah, she's really tall. But yeah, she Maggie didn't Grace? have. She, oh yeah, yeah, she's, she's beautiful, Maggie. Yeah, Grace. yeah, she's pretty, she didn't look yeah. like a vampire in real life. She wasn't as pale. <laughs> yeah, I don't, um, I don't know why anyone's. I don't know what anyone's doing in this fucking movie, let alone her. And, and Bunk was, is in it. Yeah, the bunk. Yeah, the I remember wire. in the theater, I was like the bunk. Like I, I didn't <laughs> yeah. know he was in this. Yeah, um, <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of big. Like it, it's fun, you know. Especially it's so odd because obviously this is the the finale of the franchise. There's so many new characters introduced, which is you know it seems like <laughs> a strange <laughs> choice. It's you know, hilarious. You know, the Amazonian women. Yeah, you know, they come out of nowhere. Like we're from the Amazon. Like what? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, Futurama, whatever. Like they're on that planet. Like it's Amazonian so ridiculous. Rami Malek is there. He shows up out of nowhere. It was funny yeah. seeing him in this, but he has like I don't know even know what his powers are. He has like fire powers, and basically Suddenly. all these all these vampires have like special powers that if they hone in on they can like become masters of and and bella's special power is like shield she, shielding like force field or something yeah she can yeah like, kind of like a uh, violet what's it called like a Incredibles. ward kind of over people what uh, uh, yeah uh, like yeah like, like a, a force field kind of yeah yeah it's yeah. like a force field because there's yeah. this other you know blonde chick she you know i guess you know what rubs her she, feet on the carpet and she can shock people <laughs> she's yeah, shock, she shocking people. Power. yeah it's just like ah stop it you know it's um yeah. it, you know for context so I, you know it picks up after part one you know bella's a vampire now she's she's like you know i'm hungry i want some you know edward's like you're gonna want some blood let's go hunting and then uh yeah you know then they bella spots some guy climbing like free solo on a fucking mm-hmm. cliff seems awfully yeah. dangerous he's yeah, like oh she goes to free solo herself and, and go grab him and Edward's like Very no 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 <laughs> yeah so calm down yeah, yeah this yeah. one this one like you said this one in particular really leans into the campiness of it like the you know schlocky funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, when they're running through the woods there in that scene, it's like the worst green screen. They didn't even care. Yeah, they're just yeah, like, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's the last one. Um, yeah, they didn't give a shit, like, which I, I admire. <laughs> I and, love it. And also, it's probably the most emotion Kristen Stewart's shown up until this point, because there's, you know, after that, um, you know... Uh, you know, Bella's feeling better, you know, because she's a vampire now. And she's like, you know, let's check on the baby. And, like, Jacob's like, all right, let's, you've had enough fun with the baby. And then uh, Bella, understandably, is like, what the what, what the fuck are yeah. you doing? Like, this is my yeah. daughter. Like, what? Yeah. And he's like, well, like, uh, we got to explain something. You kind of, you know, imprint yeah. it on her. And, and uh, That seat's really funny. Yeah, it is but funny. Like, like, she's yelling yeah. at him. Like, she grabs him by the, the neck. Yeah. Like, your yeah. name, yeah, like. Yeah, you, you name my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? Right, because her name's Renesmee, and he's calling her Nessie. 
Yeah, but I thought that was a, a, a yeah Nessie was like right. A, yeah, I'm just I'm just explaining. That's that's why that's where the, the Loch Ness the, monster. Do people thing call comes the in. Loch Ness monster Nessie? Yeah, I've heard that before. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah, because I was like I didn't, I didn't see that as a direct Loch Ness monster thing, but whatever. Yeah, I'm surprised she, remember, you know, she barely paid attention in school. She was too busy fucking giving yeah, Edward exactly. googly eyes. Or, mm-hmm. you know. yeah, um, she, and, uh, yeah. yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, Bella's, you know, messing with, you know, being a vampire now. And, you know, she, she finally sees her dad again. Like, you know, the dad's like, what the hell is going on? And so Jacob goes by this, like, I don't know, like to warm him up, you know, like get him used to the idea of monsters being around, uh, uh, Jacob like starts stripping for uh, Charlie, and he's like, yeah. "What what are you doing? Like, can you put your clothes back on?" Well, yeah, the the dad. Well, yeah, he sees that Jacob's a vampire or Jacob's a werewolf, but yeah, or Bella he calls her he calls him shit. Like the dad is still yeah. in the dark. Like he's the dad's like justify like what the fuck is going on? Like I haven't yeah, heard from, like, it's, and it's she's like just a, like I can't tell you. She's like hanging out with the Manson family. Yeah, like she's joined a cult. Like, yeah, we can't see. I'm I'm with Edward's family. I can't see it right now. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, I get, you know, I, you know, they're when uh, the father comes over, uh, the Cullens are trying to like make Bell up to look more human again. And it's like, remember to look like you're breathing, but like you, you need to breathe to talk. You know, right? yeah. so like, it, like it doesn't even make sense. And like, and Bella's been a human for eighteen years before this, anyway. Like, oh, she like forgot everything she like about yeah, behaving like a like regular person. Etiquette. Yeah, like they're like be sure to blink. I guess vampires don't blink. Yeah, and and also but, too, you know, because we complain particularly about like you know, but the others besides Eclipse, like them having like no story this one almost has like too much story i find it's yeah. like it's very busy compared to the other ones because mm-hmm. you Which know again it, i like about it <laughs> yeah yeah there's so much yeah it makes it more di- like i actually sat through the whole thing like wow i sat through that whole thing yeah it, it, it is like more bare it, it, and um i i've mentioned it's this so before. dumb it, it is it's pretty so dumb. stupid it, like it still doesn't make any sense like how anything happens and why and yeah, because you mentioned there's the scene with the bunk. It's I don't even follow like what I guess like That's what, Jack, she she makes the, he makes their like new identities for Jacob and Renes May. Yeah, for but, Jacob and Renes May. Yeah, but like it's I, I guess like Alice and you know uh, you know Mister Confederate Soldier or whatever like they're like yeah, arranging uh, them Jasper. to like Jasper. Yeah. They they're like gonna leave the country, but it's like kind of but like then it, that goes nowhere. So yeah. like why like why was that even kept in the movie? Um, yeah. You know, I mean, Wendell Pierce is a good actor. Like I'm glad he was working, but yeah, it's just like. Yeah, a uh, lot of characters just kind of go away. Like Rami Malek kind of goes away at a certain point. You know, really. Yeah, like usually, you know, you would think for a finale of like a, you you just focus on the characters that have already been established. But yeah, this one throws it, you know, because yeah. the Volturi are uh, gonna attack. I guess because they're unhappy about you know Renesme being born. She they like <laughs> oh she's a half breed or you know uh-huh. whatever they. And so that's why, like, they kind of rally. They get, like, Rami Malik and, you know, Lee Pace, like, all these, yeah, r- characters. Yeah. There's yeah, no, the, you know, the, there's... the Avengers of Twilight. <laughs> yeah, the... it's funny because it came out the same year as the Avengers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were trying to do that. It's, yeah. That... It's so lame. But to, like, to, 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 in a way that I love, it's so lame in a way that I found hilarious and, and entertaining. Like, they all come together at the end. And then they, they, they go to like that ice field or whatever, and there's like a thousand Volturi. There's like a fucking, there's like way more Volturi. <laughs> yeah. There's and, like and, twelve of them, and then there's like a fucking row of people, and and they they talk for a little bit. How um, how can they hear each other? They're, they're pretty yeah, far right. apart. I assume when you they see... were doing like some psychic vampire thing, because yeah, there would be. There's no way they would be able to hear each other. It's like what? They should have played that up. <laughs> like he, like Michael Sheen says something, and like Edward's like what? <laughs> yeah, because they're like you know like at a, least like the far away shot. He's like, <laughs> they're at least what? like you know fifty yards apart or something. You know they they can see like it's quite they're at quite a distance and uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, they they talk. They kill Maggie Grace or something. Uh, Michael <laughs> she wants to see the baby or Renesme, who's now well, a girl. Uh, right. I mean she yeah she grows so fast and yeah, yeah she grows can, much faster because she's, she's like, like half you human, know. Half Ten, you know, yeah. around that. Yeah, they it, say it, they say she's gonna be full grown when she's seven. 
<laughs> He's going to be a full crazy. grown woman at seven years old. <laughs> yeah, that makes the stuff with Jacob extra creepy. Yeah, because Jacob's like, you know, should yeah, I call? And Jacob's he like, yeah, I Ed- could finally marry her. At the end, Jacob's saying to Edward, like, should I call you dad? <laughs> like, Edward, like, justifiably should have, like, fucking, like, decked him. <laughs> they bring Renesmee to Michael Sheen. They, they, yeah, they present her. Yeah. I guess Michael Sheen sees her heartbeat or something. Oh, yeah, he hears he sees her that heartbeat. He's a, yeah, yeah. Her, and then his reaction is to do the craziest laugh. <laughs> Even, like, as goofy as that character was up until that point, that caught me by surprise. I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I wanted to look up the editor's name. Like, yeah. I, I want to thank the editor, really, for for yeah. leaving that in. <laughs> let's, let's, look, let's look up the editor's name. Any, anyone else would have cut that out of the movie, but I'm glad he left that in. That was so funny. I'll, I'll get the name. They, yeah, that, that person deserves a shout out. Yeah. Virginia Katz and Ian Slater. So there were two uh, uh Whoever editors. made that choice, whether it was both of you or... God Props bless. to you. Thank God you for bless. giving us that, that gem. Well, the, the vampires, they don't, they don't believe in God, do they? <laughs> they, they don't really <laughs> dabble into like the religious elements I, of I it. I don't know. <laughs> but th- that laugh was so funny. It, yeah, oh, it was it really caught, funny. It caught me off guard, too. Michael Sheen really hammed it up in this movie, and I love it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a lot funny. of fun. Yeah, like Dakota Fanning too, to a degree. Yeah, but no, no one was like Michael Sheen in this. I mean, that was like one of the funniest things I've seen for in a while. Yeah, because uh, I, I laughed like seeing it now. I knew it was coming. I still laughed pretty hard. The, the, another thing that made me laugh is you know um, again like they're bringing in whatever their cousins like the other van yeah you know, let's uh, you know the vampire Avengers and the. Uh, they bring in like I guess like an Irish family like, <laughs> and Bella's like their thirst is too strong. I'm like that. Well, that's a fucking stereotype. Like that, like the Irish are such drunks, even for blood, they can't help themselves. Like they're so thirsty for blood. Yeah, <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Yeah, that's funny. And um, yeah, so they, I, I don't. It's the, the ending's brutal. They all they all get brutally massacred. Well, well you, you think that, but so basically, you know, like Alice has been like, you know, a, you know, MIA for a bit, and then like yeah. she comes out when they're all gathered in the field, and she's like says to uh, Arrow, you know, the Michael Sheen character, like, you know, let me show you how this is gonna go down, yeah. and like, and it's like all oh, this big fight, you know, Kyle I all gets decapitated and Jasper and you know, yeah, Dakota Fanning and then like I, you know, it's yeah, you know, it's like a blood yeah, there's no blood. Yeah, D- Dakota Fanning gets her head ripped off. Yeah, they literally like you know, wolf. like it's pretty brutal, like like yeah. dragging her towards towards one of the werewolves. And yeah. there was there was even a part where when it wasn't Jacob, it was like one of the other werewolf guy like he's fallen through a crack in the ground. He's like, No Yeah, you yeah, see, you see all the wolves die. <laughs> and these are like characters like who had been established for a while, like like Edward's fake father or whatever. Like he gets fake killed, father. he gets yeah, his yeah, fucking Kyle head ripped yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. see his wife like <gasps> and at least in, you know, Harry Potter, like the characters they did die. It wasn't it wasn't fake. Yeah, like, yeah the, it, is it was upsetting. lame that it was all <laughs> In, the, in her head or whatever. That, that yeah, exactly really right. Because you, you you find out it's a, it's it's just a yeah, premonition. It's a vision. He's just showing it to him because like oh this is, I don't think there was a fight like that in the book. I, I I'm not I'm not sure. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna w- have one, to look it up. W- one thing we didn't mention about breaking down part one is you know because Alice can see the future. She's you know psychic, but she's like oh I can't predict anything about you know Bella's baby. Like well isn't that fucking convenient? <laughs> like why why not? <laughs> yeah. In the book, there's no fight at all. They just leave. They wanted to make the movie more dramatic. Yeah. Well, I, I would think so. It's a fucking movie. <laughs> I, like, I, think, I remember that. Yeah. It, it's They just added it. I'm glad they did because then at least the it bo- gives you like some action at the end. Some yeah, fucking, the book like, must be boring as fuck. Because <laughs> the whole movie, like the whole franchise has just been people talking. Yeah, for the most Jeez, part. Give like, me some, yeah. something for the dudes who have been sitting here. Like, yeah, the boyfriends. The dudes, yeah. Girlfriends <laughs> drag them to go see this fucking garbage. You know, yeah. there's something for them. So I, I on, on that yeah, level, like it, it, this is yeah the the last. It's not a good movie, but it does ha- you know it is it does have some like entertainment value, like you know, and, and that's it, like because they're like so many like goofy characters and yeah like silly action. Like yeah. I know, uh, you know, the, the Razzies are pretty dumb in general. I like that year, like they they named this the worst picture. It definitely wasn't the worst movie that year. I would I wouldn't think. 
Yeah, I'm sure. Like, it's pretty fucking like, bad. <laughs> it is bad. No, no, it, it, it I mean, is it's bad. Not, it's not that far fetched of a pick, but, but, honestly. But, but you know what I'm saying? But, but, but no, but like, come on, like, like literally. The, what like, else there was were no, that year? The Lorax. That one's worse. Yeah, that one's fucking bad too. But like, yeah, like I, I doubt like this was like actually like the worst movie of the year. Like, like because like, uh, yeah, I'm not like saying like, oh, it's a masterpiece, but like, you know, again, it does have no, like. Th- it's this, definitely very funny. Yeah, there are probably mean, other I movies that I had fond to memories of this one in particular. Uh, uh, yeah, revisiting, I really love the last two. The last two are like really funny. Yeah, a new and movie definitely them, has like so bad that. it's good. <laughs> even Eclipse, yeah, probably, yeah. even though that's technically the best made one, it's still yes, fucking boring. Yeah. I still don't give a shit about anything happening. Yeah, it's relative. Yeah. Um, Breaking Dawn one and two, those, those are really those are really movies made for the fans. <laughs> it gives you everything w- w- which like fans, fans <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, it, yeah. It, it's some of the dumbest shit i've ever seen in a movie i mean it's just unbelievable it's and it like, does um, yeah i've heard this comparison it's like you know what what transformers is to teenage boys twilight is to teenage girls I, I just like transformers pretty just exactly as much <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's like just the dumbest thing but it's just made for like you know teenagers who have a ton of time to kill, a ton of disposable income. They just want to watch pretty people. They're wrapped up in other, the shallow, in the story. Stars, but very I mean, susceptible to marketing and all this shit. And it's just like you know, it's a perfect storm. Like, let's make our money. I'm glad they made yeah. their money. This was definitely a phenomenon. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And, I and, never and, want a yeah. remake of these. I never want. Well, I think uh, there's going to be a show. Yeah, I never want a show. I figured they, yeah, I never want to watch anything um, related <laughs> to this again. And, um, but on the other hand, you've said before, like, there, there were, like, other, like, f- bad, like, you know, fantasy, like, you know, because in the wake of, obviously, like, Harry Potter, too, but, like, in the wake of this, there were, like, other, like, YA romance, like, movies. Yeah, but, a like, lot of uh, YA novel movies. Yeah, it was, like, a huge trend at the time. Now it's kind of died out. Yeah, Thankful. what was it like that? Mortal Instruments, like yeah. stuff like that. Um, like Percy Jackson. You mentioned yeah. one, Divergent. There was like the fifth yeah. wave. Chloe Grace, Grace Moretz is Golden A- Aragon. Compass, Aragon, a million of them. You could like go down. Yeah, the whole list. The, the, the only ones that really like made an impact was like Harry Potter, this and Hunger Games. Like yeah, yeah the rest kind of this came. Even like Narnia, like which like the first one made money. That kind of pe- yeah, like AV Club, yeah, got, like did an act on. Yeah, like even like Narnia kind of petered out. Yeah, Narnia as well. Those petered out. But yeah, I, I I do think like those Narnia movies are better movies than this though. Yeah, <laughs> they are just sure. better made. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Like, I don't think yeah. like they're bad movies necessarily. It's just like yeah. you know, like these, like these popularity so wise, cheap. they didn't like stick around yeah. really. These movies are so cheap. The stories are so dragged out. I, mean, I get the appeal of them, but yeah, but, right. I I just can't. I think they're fucking terrible. I mean, they're they're just terrible. <laughs> like, this is no other way to for me. But to you know, for it. the fan, it's it's the fans. I guess it's their it's their mo- bad movies. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, yeah. In, it, I mean, it's my bad movie too. That's why I say yeah, I don't yeah. want them to remake it or anything. Because I just I have no interest in that. Uh, I I like m- laughing at these versions of the characters. Oh yeah, and if you enjoy them, you can have them. We're not we're not taking them away, from, but they they are yeah, just fun to pick apart. Nah, you're stupid. <laughs> we, you, you don't you don't really you don't mean Grow that. Grow up. <laughs> Go read some real books. <laughs> not this shit. Getting um, the cl- then getting the claws out now, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's all in good fun. At least they're fun to talk about. It's also kind of like yeah. They know this is dumb. Yeah, it's also too. I'm not it's like saying the, anything. I'm not saying anything. The fans of this don't know already. I mean, I'm not making double. any new points here. I, I don't think I've honestly. I've been very unoriginal in my analysis of Twilight. It's I I'm I have an opinion that many other people do about it. But you know, it helps. <laughs> we we have some uh, distance from it now, like revisiting it. You know, as a yeah. as adults. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure, like, a lot of the girls who love it from their childhood, if they revisited it, they would notice the same problems. Oh, but they're still, they're still gonna watch them. And, and uh, yeah. guys like them, too. Yeah, I've, we I've were. Heard. Yeah, and just <laughs> even to that standard, they're bad movies. Like, there's, like, Disney Channel <laughs> movies I fucking prefer to this. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like, yeah. Probably. 
it's it's yeah. like on the level of, yeah it's like it's worse than a soap opera it is very soap opera. but also like I, I said too i don't think any of these were necessarily like the worst movies of their respective years which is saying something <laughs> but they're they're not the worst but they're in the bottom like new moon is probably in the bottom oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah but uh, yeah and part is, I, one probably is too i'm just saying this like one, not maybe not because it's really funny no but it's, part it's one, not no yeah if I, I I'd have to do a list or think about it, I I have to go back to like those years, but I I'd easily bet New Moon would make my bottom ten. Like no fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. It would <laughs> no be at doubt. the bottom. I, yeah. I just said it wouldn't. New it wouldn't Moon be is the fucking bottom. bad. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is still better than Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, at least by default, because that one like New destroyed. Moon marginally. Marginally, it is yeah, but and, like and New Moon is worse than some of the Transformers movies. Not all. It's probably worse sure. than the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that newest one. But yeah, that, tra- that <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen, I never want to sit through that again. No, that was, that, that was torture. Fallen, yeah. yeah, it's so shrill and yeah. like bloated. Revenge of the Fallen didn't even have like source material really to write base it on. So it, didn't, why... it didn't have like material at all, right? I mean, it was like, <laughs> right, like right around the, uh, the writer's right, this, strike. It had you know, a couple <laughs> shitty books written by a crazy Mormon lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had seen the books around before the movies, but I didn't know. Like I saw, I remember seeing like the, the cover with the, the apple or yeah. whatever, but yeah, I didn't know there were about vampires. Yeah. There was one black vampire in, in this one, part two. Is it yeah. different? Uh, oh, yeah, that, that, that part at the end where they, they bring out like the Native American tribe or whatever because they had to bring out some end. other... Some How other witness of like, <laughs> of like, uh, you know, half human, half vampires. So they bring this random fucking guy who we've never seen before, <laughs> and he's like, "Yes, I am half human, half vampire. I've lived for yeah. 150 years, <laughs> and yeah. we live in peace." <laughs> How old are you? A hundred and fifty years. Yeah, like, th- like this one is nowhere. really goes off the rails, and yeah, it, yeah. it ends with uh, y- you know, like uh, yeah, whatever. Like they they make peace, even though Maggie Grace's character is still dead. So they go yeah. back, and um, uh, you know, uh, Bella and Edward. It ends with them in a field again. They sit on a bunch of flowers. I don't think that would be that comfortable. I could see like sitting on the grass, but like in, if you're in like a bunch of fucking plants, you know, it'd probably be I don't know, <laughs> might be like ticks around. Looks nice, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it looks pretty for the scene. And the then you get a little like, slideshow at the end, right? Yeah, the, that, that's like a, that's like a common thing for like you know, it's like the end of a you know like a movie franchise. Let's like go back and show yeah. like a you know when Paul Walker died, like they had you know a little montage of him yeah, and whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's like. It, 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 you could they even show the part we mentioned where like Bella's this fucking you know distraught sitting in a chair like that, that was a highlight of our you know love life yeah <laughs> like when you abandoned me with no like, very little explanation yeah then they show all the credits at the end so I yeah to see the I mean people. like they can't be they, they they're still gonna have problems like any other couple like oh it's so perfect we're so in love like we're the so, biggest fucking was masses. there a crowd when you saw it. I think like, I met like I think I went like I think it had been out for a bit. Like there were okay. people there. I didn't I didn't go like opening night. I think I all went right, like you right. know one. Because I was like curious a, if you saw like the the reactions of like the fans because they they probably much. loved they probably loved it. Oh, probably, oh I'm like, sure they did. Cheering yeah. and fucking. I went like on a like a oh Saturday God. afternoon like you yeah. know after I've been out for like a week or two. So yeah, there were people, but it wasn't like oh my God, I'm in like the thick of it, like you know the yeah, Twilight yeah. mania. It wasn't like yeah. that. Yeah. I think some of the. I mean, this one's yeah, like you said, still made money. I think like the you know, the when New Moon came out, that was kind of like the height of like the phenomenon. Like this, you know, it, you know, it can only last for. So I don't know. Long. Dude, those last two movies made a lot of made a shit ton. They of They did make money, but yeah, you yeah. know, you know, after a while, like the kind of like the, I think with certain series, like the the height. Yeah, maybe dies it was more. It was little. just like kind of right, like how Fast it's, and Furious re- movies make a billion. Yeah, you know, like it's not as culturally fans. relevant, even if it makes money, or like the yeah. Jurassic World Dominion. You know, like no one talked about that fucking movie, but it somehow made like a billion dollars. Yeah, like, that, that was a piece of shit. Yeah, that, that's probably a worse. No that, that's about. a worse movie than this, probably than Breaking Dominion. Dawn yeah, it um, might be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're really, you're really trying to give Twilight credit. I'm well, like, that, no. well that, that movie's fucking awful. It's, I mean, you reviewed it. <laughs> it uh, is awful. So is this. Like, they're both yeah, awful. But, but it's funny. Uh, yeah, we, we, we could probably start to wrap up. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, this is a, unless you had like other points. <laughs> um, I don't. I, I don't think so. Um, I think I was gonna mention one more thing, but I, I can't remember right now. Just, just yeah. 
you know, d- they're dumb movies. I, I appreciate them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> they're, they're fun to t- we, I had fun discussing them with you. So oh, the yeah. Point, there's, like- a, there's so much to talk about with them. And I'm glad I revisited them because I haven't seen yeah. them since they came out. And yeah, yeah great um, discussion. It's not even like so it's like better or worse. There are other bad movies that are more just like frustrating. These are like baffling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're they're is... relatively harmless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It's not like like people who made this Aside from arrested. some of the messaging, the, the you know, abstinence before marriage and shit, which, which it, it's, yeah. it's almost so comical in this it's day and clunky. age to put that in yeah. a movie. I'm like, mm-hmm. what fucking year are we in? Like, really? So yeah. it was almost like, you know, that, that that stuff wasn't even offensive. It was more like comically um, stupid. It, they all lived happily ever after, forever. Yeah. Bella and Edward and their uh, daughter that Jacob is they're, they're pining CGI for, daughter, even at Rhea birth. And Esme, yeah. <laughs> who, are, who Jacob is grooming. <laughs> yeah, that was like Stephanie Meyer's solution was like, okay, J- Jacob can't have Bella. But he can have Bella's daughter. Yeah, like that's basically how it <laughs> seems like. And it's, it's, anyone with a brain would go away. Like, because <laughs> there was no. So what like, does that mean? What, like there was no. What, why couldn't he be? He, he could have just ended up with that. Uh, that other chick and the you know the tri you know whatever. Yeah, the, the werewolf chick. There. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What, that would have worked fine. Like, what's yeah, the that difference? probably would have worked fine. Just yeah, just give Jacob another love interest. But yeah, like you know, yeah. He's got he's got problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got he's got a lot of enemies. Yeah, and it, you know he was abducted as a child. Yeah, abduction. We gotta talk about that. <laughs> that, that that's that's for another video. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I guess that's Twilight. Yeah. It's Twilight. Yeah. Hope your hope your uh, coworkers are happy. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, we gave him a nice <laughs> shout out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I had a great time discussing these. These are like you said there's just so much to fucking rip apart here. Oh yeah. Um, I'm going to check if we have questions. We we've, we've been going on a while. Oh, how about um how about this, uh, 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 this for this time? Like, uh, do you have a favorite vampire movie or werewolf movie? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I honestly, there's a lot of classics I haven't seen yet mm-hmm. that I want to see, but I, I, no, I want to see Interview with a Vampire. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Um, is that the one with Tom Cruise? Yeah. Brad. Yeah. yeah excuse me. I want to see Dracula, the, the Francis Ford Coppola one. I have the Blu-ray. Yeah. 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 That's good. Um, but I've seen good ones. There's, um... Uh, yeah, I mentioned the addiction. I think that one's kind of hard to find. Thirst. But I, uh, that, yeah, I haven't seen mm-hmm. Thirst. Yeah, Thirst is good. That was a really yeah. good one. It's Korean. Yeah. Near Dark. Mm-hmm. That's a Near Dark. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned I've never seen Let the Right One In, but you said that's good. Yeah, it's a really good one. Yeah, don't yeah. watch the remake. The remake's terrible. Let me in. Um, yeah. Yeah, but watch the original one. The original one's great. As a kid, and, I liked uh, the Little Vampire. I don't know if anybody mm-hmm. else remembers that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, um, there are probably other ones. ones. Yeah, and uh, Let me look wh- on Butterbox. Yeah, for uh, werewolves, I love uh, American Werewolf from London. That's a great movie. Probably uh, yeah, like Wolfman stuff like that. Uh, there's there aren't as many uh, werewolf movies. Va- Vampires Kiss. <laughs> yeah, that that one I still gotta watch. <laughs> Blade, yeah, Blade Two. Mm-hmm. I li- I like Blade Two. <laughs> Dust Till Dawn. Those. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. We didn't mention that. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, What We Do in the Shadows. Uh, 30 Days of Night, Funny. same director as uh, David, you know, David Slade, same director as mm-hmm. Eclipse. Yeah, we can uh, check them. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's good. I, I yeah. want to see Fright Night. I've seen the remake, yeah. but I haven't seen the original. Yeah. I would love to see the that. original. I have the Blu-ray of that, too. I need to watch it. Vampires of, suck. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that one's fucking bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I yeah. guess we're all good. Yeah, better hold on tight, Spider Monkey, and wait yeah. for our next I, episode. Is vampires suck worse than <laughs> New Moon? Probably. It's probably is worse than all year? the Twilights, but not by much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. And, Bye, uh, everybody. Ma- make sure uh, like and subscribe, and then uh, and print on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be sure to imprint on Cam. 
<laughs> you can if you Look, want. There's a comment that <laughs> no. wanted to know if you were single. Oh, that's funny. Did you see that comment? No. <laughs> well, they, they said they were asking for a friend. I'm like, sure. Nice, for a friend. Yeah. And I'm a van- and I'm a vampire man, so it'll be a- make for a good romance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All <right>. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Bye, We're everybody. pretty tired. So. Yeah. See <laughs> We're ya. talking a while. All right. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Bye.